book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and 1, it says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Shalom, Yashallah, the peace of Israel. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach who well. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad doing this work in truth and in sincerity. All right, we are the prophets in Babylon coming out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America to teach the true understanding of the Holy Bible. That's right. All right, tomorrow is what they call Easter Sunday, which we're going to go into that. Easter is a pagan holiday. It is not promoted in the Bible. and It's actually condemned in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. All right, we just got uh, uh, done with the Passover. So all praises to how about Shemiah was shy. It was a beautiful Passover. And Lord willing, this is our, our last year here in this captivity, man. Uh, All right. But the first scripture I brought out was, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord. Because tomorrow you're going to have all these Christian pastors chucking and jiving, eating pork chops, talking about some Easter Sunday, man. Yep, yep. That's not in the Bible, man. You people need to wake up and understand that you have been taught lies your whole entire life, man. By the so-called white man, woman, and child, they, have, they fed you lies, man. That's right. All right? Easter is a pagan holiday that goes back to Ishtar, man. The worship of a, a, a pagan god. All right? And these, hey, when you, when you are worshiping these gods, man, the Lord sees it and he despises it, man. Yep, yep. And if you got a lot of hypocrites that say, oh, God knows my heart. I, God, God loves me. But you're going to go and celebrate a pagan holiday tomorrow, man. Yep. Not only that, you, you celebrate Christmas, you celebrate Halloween, you said all, all the pagan holidays in America, man. But when it comes to the Passover, you're still eating leaven. You're still uh, uh, committing adultery and being wicked, man. All right, so we're here to edify and feed the lambs. All right, of your about Shimmy Awa Shad, man. Yep. And the brother said, I had a good point where he said that, you know, when you go into these uh, pagan holidays, which, what these America call holidays, they're actually pagan. And when you celebrate these holidays, you're actually worshiping those false gods, man. All right, and that's why it's important not to celebrate these things because that, that can get you put to death. The Lord said that you're not supposed to put no other gods before Him. So you, when you celebrate these pagan customs, even Christmas, they think Christmas is all about the, 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 the baby Jesus. No, it's about Nimrod, man. Another false god. So when you, you worship, when you celebrate these things, you are worshiping false gods, whether you know it or not. All right, whether you know it or not. All right, that was it on that. Yeah, real quick. Uh, go ahead and bring this in here. Get it. Get it on camera. You got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, and it reads, this is Ishtar, pronounced Easter. Mm. All right, so Easter Sunday has nothing to do with the Lord, man. Not to mention, they say that he uh, was crucified on Friday, which was yesterday. And they call, you know another thing? They call it Good Friday. Like, it's a good thing that our Lord was crucified, man. These people are bugged the hell out. How do you get three days from Friday to Sunday? That's two days. All right, and but they, it's, they that's the day that, 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 that the Lord had, 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 had rose up again. Yeah, they saying exactly, and, and not to mention that they're, they're when you go into Easter, they get they go into how uh, uh, bunnies lay eggs, man. What is that, man? Yeah, it's a bunch of confusion, man. I used to think about that when I was a kid. I used to have to go to church and stuff for Easter and stuff, and I was just wondering why it was all these grown ass men, all these flamboyant colors, these flamboyant suits. Right. And then they had Easter egg hunts from a bunny. It, it was it, none of it made sense. You you actually adults. Well, how, how, how do you get a bunny and Easter and, and eggs? And they don't even know. Yep. Okay, so you go to show that these people are just following their oppressors, man. Yep. Esau has has, has established this pagan holiday and Jake just, just, just follows suit, man. Oh, everybody else doing it. Everybody else doing it. Let me grab this picture right here um, going, going into that. Come on, come on, real quick. Um, not only that, not only Jake, the whole world has drank the wine of Mystery Babylon the Great, man. Uh, you can go anywhere in the world now and people are celebrating Easter and Christmas, Halloween man. And shit. Halloween Halloween. So, hey, the, the scriptures are dead on. The scriptures say that the, the world would be drunken with the wine of Mystery Babylon, man, yeah, which yeah. is America, which, which that wine represents what? Philosophies, way of life, all right? That's, that's hey, and the whole world is drunken off of the philosophies of America, man, yep, yep. all right? It's the book of Proverbs 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Right. So, hey, these pagan holidays are a part of Esau's ways, man. Yep. Jake learned these, these these customs from the heathen, man. All right. All right? And if you're choosing those ways, you celebrate those, those customs, and you are choosing the ways of the heathen, man. 
All right, if you're not the oppressor, our oppressor used to beat Christmas into us, used to beat Thanksgiving into us, probably even beat Easter into us, man. Yeah, as you come into this truth, come into this knowledge, you got to separate from that stuff because they can destroy you, man. The Lord will destroy you for celebrating Easter. The Lord will destroy you for celebrating Christmas, celebrating Halloween. Those are pagan holidays worshiping false gods, man. That's right. Scripture says you, that's, the, that's the most important commandment. If we both love the, uh, the Heavenly Father as we will love ourselves and um, above all things, man, above all gods, only worship one God. If you worship and celebrate these pagan customs, these pagan holidays, you are committing idol uh, um, idolatry, man. All right, you worshiping a false god. You commit idolatry, which is a very grave sin unto death. And also, too, that's the reason why we had to go into captivity. Yeah. For what? Idolatry. Worshiping false gods. So the Lord is not dealing with that mess, man. And, it's, and in these days we live in right now, it's getting exposed. Yeah, and if you're about to celebrate uh, Easter tomorrow, your mind ain't right, man. All right, you, you ain't right in the head. Something's wrong with you, man. Because the Bible condemns Easter, man. Easter ain't in the Bible, man. So y'all people have been deceived, and that's why we out here to uh, uh, bring the truth, man. The truth is being sprung forth, man. That's right. You ain't going to learn the truth in church tomorrow. They're going to talk about bunnies laying eggs and shit. That's not the truth. We out here teaching the truth, man. Starting with the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. Right. And the brothers who follow the like-minded doctrine. But go ahead and read that uh, scripture one more time, Bubba Kusha. This is the book of Proverbs 3, verse 20, it's like verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. And that's what Jake does. Jake envies the oppressor, man. They follow after the ways of the oppressor. Uh, 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 example, uh, a, a white woman got blonde hair. And you got a Jake woman who's going to go and put a blonde wig in her hair, man. Yep. That's envying the oppressor, man. Yep, yep. All right? Hey, or what she'll do is she'll, she, like we just saw walk past here, uh, fucking cherry red Edomite with some black ass Jake woman, man. Yep. Some black ass nigga woman. And what she had on her head, a fucking weed, man. Yeah, that fucking long and, 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 and shit, that somebody else shit flowing in the way and shit, man. Yep. That's giving her oppressor, man. Yep. Jake, Jake out here wearing blue contacts and shit. Well, what's that about, man? What's that about what? Cause they trying, they trying to look like, and, 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 and they, they really want to be accepted by the damn devil, man. Right. All right, they want to look like this guy and accepted by this guy, man. When we come into the truth, you realize that the, mo the most high hates this guy. The most high hates the so-called white man, women, and child, man. Yep. All right. You should, you should want to be, you should want to be a look like them. To hell with them, man. But our people are destroyed. Somebody grab me that too. Oh, 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 oh. Is it four, Is it four, four and four, six? Four and six. Yep. Okay. All right, but um, was that it on that scripture? Yeah, yeah. Con. Oh, hold on, hold on, no, no, I had another part. Con. I'm gonna bring it back. It says, um, Proverbs chapter three, verse thirty-one: Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Yep. Choose none of his ways, man. The ways of the oppressor is celebrating Easter, celebrating uh, Halloween, Christmas. That's nowhere in the Bible. But you know what's so wicked about these people is they will take the Bible and try to promote it like it is in the Bible. Yeah. That's why the Lord is going to destroy the Edomites, man. The only nation on earth that's getting zero mercy is the so-called white man, woman, and child, man. That's right. Because that's right. they blaspheme the Holy Spirit, man. That's right. They turn the truth into a complete lie, man. All right, but real quick, back to this. It says, this is Ishtar, which the, the picture I showed you, which is a false god, pronounced Easter. Easter was originally the celebration of Ishtar, the Assyrian and Babylonian goddess of fertility and sex. It says, originally. See, the problem with Jake is they don't go into the origins of things, but they don't actually go into the origins of these pagan houses. They, 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 it's these celebrations that they celebrate, man. All right, this is a celebration of a, the, the originally the celebration of a pagan god, man. Yep. All right, that 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 that, that right there should, should, should be, you know, jaw drop. Hey, and that shows you that America is Babylon regenerated, man. Mm -hmm. This is nothing but, that's why the scriptures call this place Mystery Babylon. Yep. Ishtar was a god of the Babylonians, man. So they brought that foolishness here to America, along with all these other different false gods, man. All right, it says, uh, her symbols, like the eggs and the bunny, were and still are fertility and sex symbols. Or did you actually think eggs and bunnies had anything to do with the resurrection? Mm. After uh, Constantine decided to Christianize the empire, Easter was changed to represent Jesus. You hear this? It so was, It was changed to represent Jesus, which that, is this guy. Right, and that word Easter means Ishtar. So really it says, Ishtar was changed to represent Jesus. Mm. So really when you celebrate an Easter, you are worshiping a pagan god, Ishtar. All right? It says, but at its roots, 
Easter, which is how you pronounce Ishtar, is all about celebrating fertility and sex. Yep, so yep. when you're celebrating this with your children and your children out there uh, gathering uh, bunny eggs, some foolishness, you're really pushing uh, uh, the goddess of sex and fertility on your children, man. And that brings a certain spirit on them, man. Yep. All right, that's why you got Jake, and like the brother said, you go to church and they wearing all these flamboyant colors. All right, uh, and hey, shit. your children start growing up as moles, man. All right, thinking Easter's okay, man. Hey, you got uh, kids that want to be the Easter bunny, man. Hey, Jake is finished, man. This place is finished. And the truth is being established, man. That's why this world is crumbling the way it is, man. Because the prophets have been out here warning the people, and now Babylon is falling, man. All right? But that was it on that. It's on Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. It says, Woe well, unto them that call evil good and good evil. I remember when I was in church, man, they used to have like a fucking uh, a, a, damn, uh, a damn snack room at the church or whatever, where the church was making money and shit. And the pastor will fucking sell boiled peanuts with wow. ham hocks in it, man. All right, ham hocks in it. Going to show you that this place is completely destroyed, man. If you go to these churches, the truth is not in these churches, man. All right, somebody grab me that. The most I does not dwell in temples um, 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 made with hands. Because when you go to these churches, man, it's a bunch of, it's, a, it's just a whorehouse, man. You women going there wearing, wearing, wearing fucking skippy clothes and trying to trying to look good for, for the damn the, the damn choir boys and shit. The choir boys be straight homosexuals. All right, Pet the, the past to be pedophiles. It's yeah. complete madness in there, man. And now, as they celebrating this pagan custom Easter, they, what they do? They have what, a, 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 a Sunday dinner, a East, a, a East, Easter dinner, and it's a bunch of abomination, man. Yeah. All right. What what, what that sign at? We'll turn that sign around. Yeah. This, this this how I look on, on them um, on, on them Easter Sunday night, man. This the pastor right here. This the this the pastor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is wife. All right, this is it's, it's absolute madness. When they eat all kinds of abomination, they, they, they doing abominations. So you know, you understand, man. Doing these things, it's, it's, this is what makes the Lord angry. Yeah. All right, this is why when the Lord comes down with great wrath and destruction upon Jake, He will be justified for doing it, man. And that's yeah. why the scriptures say, uh, "My servant shall shall laugh, man." Yep. When, hey, when Jake catches judgment, we know why you catching judgment, man. When yep, people yep. get put to death, you getting put to death because you celebrating pagan holidays. You getting put to death because you eating abominable food. Because you ain't following the ways of the Bible, man. Yep, yep. Hey, and the reason we gonna laugh too is because we was out here warning you, man. Yep. We came out here and, and made our bodies a living sacrifice to come out here and warn you people that what y'all doing is wrong. All right, by doing these things, you, you can get, get destroyed. You can put to death, but y'all laugh, scoff, and mock, thought we was crazy. So when a judgment does come, it's gonna be justified. All right, ain't gonna be, ain't gonna be no, no way out of it because when, when you say, oh, Lord, I didn't know. The Lord would say, well, I should my, you not, you not see my prophet? The ones you were scoffing and mocking and disrespecting, Hey man, every everything every, everything will be answered for, man. Yeah. All right. Hey, the scriptures say they have misused the prophets, man. Wow. Which they have, man. They have misused the prophets. We're out here warning people, which really what we're doing is love. You know, if a semi truck's coming and I don't tell you to get out of the road, that means I hate you. I want you to die. Wow. But if I'm telling you, hey, get out of the road, something, hey, you about to get hit. That's love, man. That's what we're doing out here. We let you know if you keep doing the wickedness that you do as Israelites, you are going to die. Yeah, right, and when yeah. you die, you're going to understand, damn, a prophet was among me. Yeah, because the yeah. Lord going to let you know that the prophets were sent down here to warn you that you was going off. That's right. That's right. And see, nowadays, we live we, we live in the internet age where it's all world star, world star. So if you, you, you're going to know somebody that loves you, that don't, don't care about you. If you walk into the road and the truck is coming, right. you imagine you look back at your friend. You only get by a truck, but you happen to catch it. You look back at your friend and he watching the whole time with his camera out. Yeah. You, know, you know that ain't your damn friend. Cause he, he, he went from to warn you. But the guy that the, the friend that tell you, hey, yeah, yo, yo, get wrong, get, that's one you, you, that you, 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 you can look up to, man. That right there is an actual real friend. So for us to be telling you these things, we're not do doing this to try to, you know what I'm saying, shit on your party or nothing, which rightfully so. <laughs> but at the same time, it's just for your own your own salvation, man. So you say you don't get destroyed. Because often when the Lord comes, he comes with great death and destruction. That's right. Great death and destruction. When that death and destruction comes, ain't gonna be no stopping it, man. So when that time comes, we hoping that we get saved, and we out here to, 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 to bid people to the marriage that they be they be saved too. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. All right, what you got up? Hold on. What you got? Go ahead. So look at Acts chapter 17, verse 24. Yahweh that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, uh -huh. dwelleth not in temples made with hands. So these churches, Ooh. man, these churches. All right, those churches are temples made with hands. And if people think they go to church and they're they, 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 they all good and stuff, that, 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 that you, you're doing a good deed. The Most High is not dwelling in those churches, man. The, the, the Most High sent his prophets out on the streets. 
All right, even the ancient times, the prophets would, would go out in the, into the streets, man. They'll, they'll prophesy on, on the highways and byways. All right? So we're in a time where the Lord is raising his prophets up again, and those churches are completely blasphemy, man. Yeah. All right, they're worshiping this guy in those churches, calling upon this guy in those churches. This is not in the Bible. This is a full-blown lie. This right here is, is deceit. This right here is lies. This is going to lead you to, 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 to a damn a nuclear destruction, man. All right? So the brothers brought the scripture out and said what? That the Lord says what? That he does not dwell in temples made with hands, man. So you go into your church and you think it's all peaches and cream. The Most High is not in that building, man. He's not in that church. The Most High is not like this guy. If you worshiping this guy, you friends with this guy, your ass gonna die with this guy, man. That's right. right. Look at Eve, look at Eve. Turn the camera around. So I'm talking about very red Eve with, 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 with a black ass nigga. And she thinks she thinks she's doing something. You got a weave in the head, weave probably stank yeah, shit. Yeah, we, we was coming here, we saw uh, a Northern Kingdom woman, what it looked to be, getting married to a damn Edomite, man. Straight Edomite. Getting married, and that, that shows you that the scriptures are on point, man. The scriptures say in the last days, they shall be marrying, drinking, giving in marriage, having a good time, until that uh, sky crack, and then people eating nuclear destruction, man. Wondering why you getting burnt up. Yep. What? All right, but that, that goes to show you that our people envy the oppressor, man. They, they love, they love the devil so much that they, they want to be the devil now, man. Yep, right. yep. They look at that and they think it's good. Yep. Hey, hey, you look at them. If you look, you, look, you, look, you look at them on the camera. You look at them when they pass by her, man. They were complete polar opposites. But she with him because he might got some substance and he with her because it's going to make everybody think that he's not racist. Whatever the <laughs> fuck. All right. Yeah. Going to show you this confusion, man. Yeah. All right, we went to that la last week, though. We don't, we don't probably go to this week. We went to last week about how they, though they join hand in hand and we should not go punish. All right, and our woman that's out here fucking, fucking crawling around with Esau, hey, they ass gonna die with Esau, man. When, 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 when the Lord raises his men up, we ain't, gonna, we, we ain't gonna look past some bitches. No, we gonna look, hey, bitch, I'm gonna use with damn Tommy. Guess what? Tommy dead. Guess who do die next? Uh, <laughs> all right, bring that back. Chill out. It's Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. So they'll walk through this and they'll call this evil. But they're, they're, they're called grown ass men shaving his face, eating crab, pork, shrimp, and lobster, lusting after little boys. They'll call that shit good though, right? You had this guy Lil Nas X about canceling for Twitter after he done released some damn Satan shoes. His ass done come up, he had a video of him giving Satan a lap dance. Okay, them shoes sold out in less than a minute, man. All right, that video got fucking millions of views within a fucking week. Yep. Okay, they call that 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 they call that that good and this is what we doing is evil. Hey, now now what they do you got these these women Cardi B and uh Megan Thee Stallion at the Grammys, they damn licking tongues and shit. And then you got this guy uh Lil Nas X, but they canceling Dr. Seuss. They saying that that's inappropriate. You know what I'm saying? They but canceling Dragon Ball. They can yeah, they canceling Dragon Ball too. No, because for it, real? it's against sexism. Uh, it's sexism, right? What the? So this God, place is Roshi. completely oh. ass backwards, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, and you know what? You know what's gonna happen, man? Is this gonna get so bad, brothers? We we gonna look at some of this shit, and we we're not even gonna be thinking about it, and it's gonna get beyond our imaginations, man. This yeah. is, this is only scratching the surface of how bad it's gonna get, man. Yeah, yeah. Just like that little Lil Nas X video, man. Yeah. And it, and it came out they found some old tweets. From this guy talking about how he he wanted to have sex with his three year old cousin, man, his three year old yeah, nephew, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Nephew, you know what, yeah. these people are sick as hell in the head. And if you think like that, if you promote that shit, but you get comfortable to post that shit on social media, it shows you this world is completely gone, man. All right, completely gone. Bring that back up. This is uh, uh, it says uh, Isaiah five and twenty. Woe to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet. And sweet for bitter. Uh -huh. Bitter for sweet, sweet for bitter, man. Hey, so did, did, did this whole celebration at Easter, as people be doing tomorrow, that, that's, that's bitter as hell, man. That shit ain't right. That shit is wicked, man. It's wrong. It's completely abomination. All right, it, it is a pagan custom people are celebrating, but they think it's all peaches and cream. They don't even understand the origins of it, the background of it, and they just celebrating it, man. You ask a Jake, you go ask your auntie, your cousin, your mama, your, your, your daddy, whoever they are celebrating it. Well, well what's the origins of, of Easter? And they will look at you like a fucking doorknob. A duh. They don't know. They don't know why, because 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 they, they all, all ultimately the Lord put the spirit on them, and they're not in the scriptures, man. All right. When, when the Bible talks about uh, the, the, the high holy day around this time, it's the Passover, man. Ain't no Easter. Ain't no Easter in the Bible. It's, it's Passover. All right. Everything else is of Satan, man. Okay. We have high holy days, but y'all worshiping these, these these pagan holidays. That right there is completely off, man. And and behind a lot of that shit is Satanism, man. Yeah. All right. It's Satanism. Let's so, call it what it is. It's Satanism, man. You were celebrating Halloween and shit. That's Satanism, man. 
okay? Your birthday, that's that's the, the, the greatest uh, satanic holiday. Yeah. It's your own fucking birthday because you worshiping your, your own damn self. Yeah, so, yeah. so people out here, out here just doing what they want to do, not even, not even thinking twice, so when that judgment comes, it's going to be granted, man. Yeah. He, these people deserve to be destroyed. And I believe it says that in the uh, satanic Bible, man, yeah. that uh, your birthday is the number one satanic holiday you can celebrate because you're going into your self-worship, man. And every year, what is promoted? Your birthday, your birthday, your birthday. It's all about you. Man, these bitches, man. These yeah. bitches, boy. When they birthday come around, the whole world stopped for them, man. Yeah. The whole world stopped for them. I had a, had a bitch tell me the other day, a couple of weeks ago, oh, how come you ain't tell me happy National Women's Day? Bitch, I don't celebrate that shit. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? I don't, I don't celebrate that shit. What the hell? And that's another you that thing. Jake is completely fraud, man. Yep. Jake is completely fucking gone. All they know is what Esau gave them and told them, man. Yeah, they try to get in where they fit in, and they don't even fit in here, man. They're trying to get in where they fit in, and America is not your rest, man. Yep. But uh, another thing is, you uh, we were talking about what? Oh, they got all these different, they're coming up with new holidays, man. Oh, yeah. All yeah. This, the, a, hey. a new holiday is coming up every other month. Hey, man, what is it? Next month is fucking Pride Month? Uh, America got to go, damn. man. Yeah. America, America has to be destroyed, because this place is completely finished. There's no righteousness in this place besides the elect men trying to wake up out, out of this darkness, man. Right, the, the oh, brothers. Oh, shit. That looked like uh, that was Juan Chavez. Yeah, Juan Chavez. Niggas are fucking cool. Yeah, go ahead. Right. I think he a, he a fed. I believe so. Something yeah. Something like that. Fed five water. I, I don't know. But the brother brought it up today in the car. We was uh, talking. He brought up a Pride Month thing because I'm gonna be working in the city. And I was like, oh damn, man, that day's gonna suck. He yeah. said it's a month. Oh, I said, wait, <laughs> Pride is a that, that's a month. They gave a whole month to Moses, man. They gave a whole month to abomination. That's why Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. If you go to Sodom and Gomorrah today, you can still see brimstone. That's why America is gonna be caught on fire. Yep. And all you Mo's out here are gonna be caught on fire too, man. Yeah. You're gonna have to learn the hard way, man. And that's the spirit. That's the spirit. As we talking about it, two Mo's walk by, man. Yep, carpet munchers, rubbing carpets and shit. <laughs> Nasty as hell, yo. About, hey, that's where AIDS comes from, man. Yeah. That's where well, diseases come from, man. All right, you put 50 moes on a damn uh, island, 50 men that are homos on an island, that island gonna be extinct in 20 years. Yeah, yeah. All right? Cause yeah. hey, that promotes death. Yeah. Being a mo, being a carpet rubber, <laughs> promotes death. All right, it's not life, man. And that's what, that's what America loves, man. And when you go into the word America, actually it means bitter, man. Mm. This place is bitter as hell. I gotta preach that real quick. The book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now he said people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now first of all, hold on, hold on. Let's take it back. The Lord said my people. All right. My people. The Lord's making a distinction from everybody and his people. He says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians, man. All right. The most high is only dealing with the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. Everybody else, get the hell with you, man. All right. You, 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 got, slavery, you got slavery awaiting you. But for, the, for you so-called Negro Spanish Native Indians, you are the most high God's chosen people, man. All right, and he said what? That his people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. I'm not talking about a damn college degree or diploma. No, it's talking about the knowledge of this Bible, man. Right. Jake don't understand this Bible. They don't want to understand the Bible either. That's the worst part. They don't want to The Lord said they don't even consider. Go ahead. It says, because thou hast rejected knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee. So Jake will come by and they'll hear this word coming out and they'll reject it, man. They'll keep walking us. Oh yeah, not 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 my Jesus. They look at the sun and say, "Not my Jesus." You are rejecting knowledge. They don't even actually. Well, what makes you think that the letter that the Lord looks like that? We're gonna show you in the scriptures because we asked them what what, 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 what what scripture says the Lord like this. They don't know. It's not in there. All right. So our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, and the knowledge is what not understanding these scriptures, not understanding who our Lord is, man. And then that's gonna get a lot of people destroyed, man, because when they they rejected this truth, they rejected this knowledge. A lot of them are gonna be destroyed. Go ahead. It says, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the most high, I will also forget thy children. That's right. So that's why your kids getting gunned down in the streets. All right. Getting kidnapped and shit uh, uh, on, on, the, on, on the back of them uh, 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 milk cartons and stuff, man. Because because you have forgotten the law of the most high God. And, and if, if the adults forgot the law of the most high God, then you, you know they're teaching their children. So the children growing up to be what? Monsters, man. That's right. All right. They growing up to grow up to be even bigger demons than their parents was, man. Look, look at this, this generation Z shit, man. Jake got colorful dreads and tattoos all over face and shit. Completely fucking gone, man. All right. They doing all any and everything for fucking clout. Jake on, on Instagram live eating dookie turds and bread. 
eating yeah. rats and bats and shit, man. All for some clout. Show you this world has to go. We at we at the end of this place, man. All right, and and, and the worst the worst thing about this concurrence, the world we're living right now, is Jake has is the lost as they ever been ever. Yeah. Okay, completely fucking fried, completely gone, man. Our people are gone. All right, they they they, they, they worship lies and, and and they promote lies. I had I had a demon come at my eyes the other day, and she was fucking infuri infuriated because I didn't want to say because I didn't want to say call call the Lord uh, Jesus. The letter J wasn't invented until what four five hundred years ago. So because I didn't want to call his name Jesus and I didn't want to worship this guy, she got all all, all up tight with, with, with me and shit. Going to show you that this world promotes lies, man. This world is it, it, it's, it's, it's full of garbage. All right, that's why the Lord is coming. When he's the Lord's he coming to this earth. He coming with thermonuclear fire. You understand? You gotta be the Lord. How mad the Lord gotta be to come with thermonuclear fire, man? All right, to absolutely, be, you wanna burn this place up? Very, very, very angry, man. Yeah, yeah. No, no, we're 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 Show show you who who his true people are, man. Who who his true who who the true saints are. All right, it's gonna be the ones that's gonna be trying to abstain from all this madness as much as possible, man. Everybody else out here that, 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 that's going with it, they happy to celebrate this bullshit. They are gonna die, man. A horrible group and that could be your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your brother, your sister, your mama, whoever it may be. If they don't get right, they ain't seeking your how about Shemesh Hashem sincerity. They are they are going to die here, man. All right, all right, unless they repent. All right, the book of Amos chapter three and six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Uh huh. So right now this trumpet has been blown in the city, man. All right, we, we are that trumpet being blown in the city. Well, I thought I said I was on hold there. Yeah, yeah. Tripping. Yeah. We are that trumpet being blown in the city, man. And that trumpet that's been blown is what we, we are giving you that warning, man. All right, giving you a heads up to hey, come out of this place. Hey, flee, flee from Babylon, man. Right. All right, come out of here, my people. Because what? If you don't wake up, you gonna be destroyed here, man. So the Lord has prophets out here blowing his. A symbolical trumpet, which is us coming out here teaching this word, and what? Then, then, but then you gonna know when all when when what we say through the scriptures just happened that the prophet said it first, man. All right. Go ahead. Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord has not done it? So when the evil does come in the city, and that word evil breaks down to what? Bad times. Right. When those bad times come coming up into the city, man. Hey, the, the whole world is gonna know that the Lord did it, man. All right, the whole world is going to understand that this right here is something higher than the rest of the rest of people, man. Hey, when, when that time comes, everybody going to know that that prophet has been among them, man. Yeah. The ones who they were scoffing at, mocking at, disrespecting, looking down upon, they're going to know that those were the true men of the Lord that was trying to give you a heads up, a warning. Yeah. Hey. When, 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 when you hated that warning, you hated, you hated to hear this truth, now you got to pay for it, man. Yeah, and you people that think it's going to get better in America, you're in for a rude awakening, man. Shh. We haven't seen nothing yet, man. And this, this C-19 thing, this pandemic has completely shut down the economy in 2020, man. So now the economy is struggling to go get back up. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. And hey, we out here, to, we're not going to sing you a song to sleep and let you, oh, it's going to get better. It's going to be our, no, we telling you the truth. The truth is, it's going to get worse here in America, man. It's going to get right. bad. It's going to hit the point where there's going to be no more food in the stores. All right, it's going to be a famine. We're going to have a lot of people that's going to die of starvation, man. All right, and this is the times we're coming into. So that false sense of security of, oh, it's gonna get better. 2021, it's getting better. Well, guess what? It's gonna get worse. Shit's gonna hit the fan. And y'all gonna know that a prophet have been among you, man. Yep, I got the first up. Huh. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will bring evil upon them. And they said, thus saith, read it verbatim, Baba Kusha. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them. The Lord said he's gonna bring evil upon you people, man. Y'all think God is all love, God is love, God is love. What about this scripture right here in the Bible? It says that the, the God of the Bible is going to bring evil upon these people, man. Because you rejected the truth. You rejected the true understanding of the Bible. So when evil comes upon you, when all hell breaks loose, hey, the prophet's going to laugh at you, man. All right, go ahead. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, I, behold, I will break evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. But they shall what? Well, they shall not be able to escape. Yeah, because when the Lord got you in his hand, you're not going to be able to escape, man. Neither can none deliver out of my hand. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. I kill, I'll make alive. So this is the, this is the God of the Bible. Where, this is the power we're dealing with, man. And this is what's wrong with you people, man. Y'all don't fear that power. 
So a lot of you people are gonna have to learn the hard way. You're gonna have to uh, 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 learn by death by pain, man, as the scriptures say. You're gonna have to feel that pain and understand when you die, you're gonna meet a millenated God whose name is Yahweh, and he's gonna let you know what it is. Yep. All right? It says, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Yep, so you're gonna have people that are celebrating Easter tomorrow, a month from now, all hell might break loose and they're gonna be crying unto sweet baby Jesus and the Lord, the true Lord, ain't gonna hear you. Yep. He's gonna, hey, the scripture says that the Lord is actually gonna mock when your fear cometh. So when you people are in fear, when all hell breaks loose, the Lord is gonna mock you. He's gonna laugh at you because you didn't choose the truth. All right, and that's a righteous thing, man. All right? It says, then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. Right, so they're gonna cry unto Buddha, they're gonna cry unto Jesus. They're gonna cry unto all the they're gods that they Biden. chosen. Biden. They're gonna cry unto fucking money. They're gonna cry unto yep. what? Damn, Lucy Burke. They're yep. gonna cry to them for <laughs> man. Yep. Help us! Help us! Help I like us! That, like that guy. There was an Edomite uh, when Trump was in office. He was getting pulled oh, over. Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah. said, "Please, Trump, save me, Trump. Please, yep, Trump, yep. save me, Trump. That's a great Please, example. Trump. That's a great. That's example. exactly what they did. And Trump did not tell him to save him, man. Trump, can I help you? Hey, the cops done bro broke the window in, pulled his ass out. He was sitting there. Please, Trump, save me, Trump. Please, Trump, save me. Trump ain't coming to save you, man. <laughs> Trump probably even watched the video. Right, for real. God. Read that part again, Bible. It Trump. says, Then shall the cities of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. Right, and this is going to be the day that you're going to realize that the God you serve, if it's not Yahweh, is not the true God. Because the God that you serve, he ain't going to come to save you when all hell breaks loose. Yep. You're going to realize that you've been worshiping a lie. Your yep. whole life. Ishtar ain't coming to help you, man. It's, hey, uh, the Easter bunny ain't coming to help you. All right? The Christmas tree ain't coming to help you. Santa Claus ain't coming to help right. you either. Santa Claus ain't coming to help you, man. But hey, the true men of the Lord, you brothers that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, the scripture says that the Lord is going to be a hedge unto you, man. That's right. He's going to he's gonna deliver his men, his people, the one that truly believe on him. Yeah. It says, uh, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. Right, so your gods ain't gonna come and save you, man, because there's only one God. And if you're not serving that one God, he's not gonna come and save you. Yep, he's yep. not gonna come and help you. Like I said, he's gonna be up there with your Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, and the angels, and they're gonna be laughing at your ass, man. Yep, yep. And then the prophets on earth gonna be laughing at you too. All right? Uh, hold on, finish this up. This is uh, verse 14. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. So we don't pray for you people, man. We don't pray for you people, man. Because uh, uh, two-thirds of Israel are the same wicked Negroes and Latinos that led our, our Lord to be crucified, man. Yep, yep. All right, primarily, primarily Judah, man. All right, go ahead. Hey, this is who this is talking about. Yep. Remember, you read up. It, it says, uh, verse 11, Therefore, thus saith Yahweh. Um, I'm going to verse 12. It says, Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, which are you so called Negro Spanish Native Indians, man. The Lord is speaking to you. He's telling the prophets what? Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time of the, that they cry unto me for their trouble. So the Lord said, He ain't going to hear that, man. You, that, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you want to you wanna pray for, for your damn cousin, sh sh damn shh, 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 nay, nay. The Lord ain't hearing it, man. If she doesn't try to get right, if she don't want to seek the Lord, your whole body she's going to be destroyed. Yep. All right? The Lord said, don't pray for them. They don't, only worry, they don't only worry about that, man. The Lord said, seek out those that be like thee. <laughs> seek thee out those as yourself and, and, that, and those that be like thee, few, man. Few that be like thee, man. Oh, and you know what? Well, you know what we do, man? We actually pray for the downfall, you wicked two-thirds, man. Right. We're not praying for your, for your, your, your hope. Because it's written, and I was watching a beautiful video the other day, man, because I, I caught myself give, getting a little, you know, um, ir like very irritated recently, man, with, with all the stuff that's going on. And I watched a video uh, a brother had done, and he said, you can't be offended at prophecy, man. Yep, yep. Hey, it's prophecy that two-thirds are going to be destroyed. It's prophecy, prophecy that this place is going to get more, worse, and worse, and worse, man. Yep, yep. And I kind of found myself getting a little, like, a little too irritated. And I had to bring myself down to earth and say, you know what? This is prophecy to happen, man. Yep, yep. This is supposed to happen. You see a damn uh, a wicked uh, uh, Israelite eating a rat head? You know what? Hey, the <laughs> Lord said that this was going to be the worst time in history, man. Shit. All right? You can't get offended at it, man. All right? Was that it on that, brother? Uh, yeah. 
Go ahead, uh, Kazumat. Okay, this is Jeremiah 10 and 10. But Yahweh is the true power. He is the living power and an everlasting king. Mm -hmm. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble and the nations shall not be able to abide in his indignation. So according right. to the Bible, the God of the Bible says when the Lord comes back, the earth is going to tremble, man. The people are going to tremble. Right. Yahweh is the true power and the Lord's name means he exists. All right, because Yahweh is in everything. Right. All right. But the thing is, is the Lord created Esau to be destroyed, man. He was that uh, vessel of uh, um, uh, fitted for destruction, man. All right, go ahead. Verse 11, thus shall say, thus shall ye say unto them, the, the gods that have not made the heavens and the earth, mm. even they shall perish from the earth. Woo so the gods that, you know, that you worship, the uh, little Uzi Burt, uh, Jesus, uh, uh, Buddha, they, even they shall perish, man. You go into the book of Baruch, it talks about how all the uh, uh, the wood and stone that you worship is going to be destroyed, man. Yep. They don't even breathe. The, the, the gods that you worship don't have no life in them. They're wood and stone. All right, go ahead. You got you got over there the, uh, what is it? The, the Muslims that worship the Mecca stone. All right, these they, these people are finished, man. Yep. All right, worshiping a damn stone. They, hey, they, they put their head in it. They told them that they can't go worship that stone unless they had that thing, man. Yep. Uh, you can't go out there unless you have that thing. That's where we're coming to, man. Where you can't be able to do nothing unless you have that thing. Hey, we're we, we, we talking about that over there in, uh, in Jerusalem, where they, where they got people wearing wristbands now. Yeah. All right. Which is all. Was all. All to me is just a. It, it, it is a conditioning for that RFID microchip implant. Yep. All right. Where it's at? It's right here, man. They want to put these people. But they telling the people over there that <laughs> people in Israel are saying how. Oh, you guys get to help us because if, if you don't help us, it's gonna go, go it's gonna go, go, go over there to, to, to uh, you too. It all starts over there in Israel. It's gonna come over here. Yeah. All right. So we're having guys put over there with things, whatever. And they going into saying how they telling people, <laughs> here, you know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, it, they, they, they're not forcing upon you. It's already forcing upon you. Saying no, they're not forcing upon us. But if, eventually, you might you might want to go to your gym. They tell you you can't come in unless you have it. Yeah. You might want to go to work. They tell you, you can't come out come at work unless you have it. You can't go to the store unless you have it. So pretty much, it's, it's gonna come with come down to pressure, man. Everybody's gonna be under that pressure to go take that damn thing. Yeah. All right, so it's gonna get very, very, very uncomfortable out here, man. Yeah. And when that time comes, you're gonna try to call upon the Lord and he ain't gonna answer you, man. That's yeah. right. All right. And that's why the scriptures say he causes all. How is he gonna cause you? Because it's gonna be hard to do anything without it. Yeah. All right, so you're gonna have a lot of people that's gonna be caused to get it, man. Yep. All right, ultimately, if you're not one of the elect, the Lord's gonna put a spirit on you to take that thing, man. Yep. Yep. All right, go ahead, brother. Start from the top, verse 11. Thus shall ye say unto them, The gods that have made the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. He hath made the earth by his, by his power, he hath established the world by his wisdom, and hath stretched out the heavens by his discretion. Yep, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. There's only one God. If you're not serving that God, which we can tell if you if you're serving the true God of the Bible or not, just by looking at your countenance. Is, your, is the man shaving his face? Does he have a bald head? Is he celebrating Easter? Well, if you're doing any of these things, then you're not serving the true God of the Bible. Yeah. We can see it on you. You don't have to talk. You, we can have a man come up here and say nothing. But if he has a bald head, a shaved face, and he got an Easter Easter egg on his shirt, we know that this guy is not serving the true God of the Bible, That's man. That's right. Hey, and he can't tell us about the Bible, man. Yeah. You can't come up and try to say, oh, well, I'm going to tell you this, brother. Do you, know you know this? We don't want to hear it, man. What's up, Hold on, brother. What, 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 you, you know all about the Bible. Did you know this? Did you know that? Right. He's going to stop right there. He's going to, oh, y'all, y'all, this guy, he's going to walk down the street, man. All right, so if, if somebody comes to him, come up, and then they don't, they're they showing that they obviously, they, they, they want to interested in this Bible today. They saw, saw us out here reading it. We ain't trying to hear what you got to say, man. We the ones going to teach you out here. You ain't going to teach us, we're going to teach you. All right? Because, hey, when you, when you ask somebody else trying to teach you, and they don't know what they're talking about. First of all, that, that, that's just completely out of, out of order. And second of all, it's going to bring a whole bunch of fucking confusion, man. That's all it brings is a bunch of confusion. These people nowadays, they are confused. They, they don't know who they're worshiping. They don't know who the most high is, man. I, I had a fucking woman tell me, I called her ass up. She tried to argue about scripture and shit. I said, all right, well, let me ask you this question then. She said, she, she a Christian. I said, does, does the most high kill? No, no, you don't kill. No, it's people that kill. Diseases. All right, man, go to, go to do the right. Yeah, easily. Oh no! I was just playing. I was just playing. No, your problem is you don't know the Bible, man. Yeah. And that's the that's the majority of people. They, they don't they don't know the Bible. They don't they don't know who the Lord is, man. They, they don't know the true Lord. 
Oh, yeah, how about some y'all shot, man? That's right. These, hey, these people are puffed up with pride, man. Very puffed up. So you go to, you, you, and the thing is, is we ask right. questions that are very straight to the point. Does the, does the Lord kill? Does the Lord create evil? And then we, we let you answer your, all right, no, no, no. And then we bring you to the scripture. And then you, your pride is shown forth, man. Yep. All right. And you know what's the problem with a lot of Christians, too? Is they don't really want to hear the scriptures, man. Yeah. You try to bring the scripture. Oh, here you go. I ain't finna read all that. I ain't finna read all that. Now, what? We thought you believed in the Bible. But now you want to read it, so it's just whatever the fuck you think, right? Yeah. You worship yourself. You don't worship the most high of the Bible. You don't worship the Bible. You worship yourself, man. That's the problem. They worship their own. They got their own beliefs, man. All right? Their own ways, and they, they want to stick to that. So when, when you talk, keep, keep talking about the Bible, and then that shit is just crumbling their whole way of life, they freak out, man. Yeah. And ultimately, that shows that these people ain't meant to get it, man. All right, everybody, every, that's why we don't come out here talking about the whole nation. Oh, yeah, we are here for the nation, the nation, to help the nation, man. The majority of our people are too far gone. Right. They're too far gone. Them hey, same Jesus people, the same, the, the, same people the same people that you're talking about, you, you, you're trying to save and for the nation, for, they're going to be the ones that are selling you out, trying to put you to death, and trying to go, go ahead and, and get you to go take that damn thing, man. That's right, that's right. It's about to get nasty out here. And if you ain't, if you ain't on, if you ain't in the right mind, if you ain't in the right spirit, if you ain't seeking the true power, you are gonna be finished before you even start, man. All right, you're not gonna last a fucking millisecond in, in, in Jacob's trouble, man. All right, what you got? This is uh, James chapter one and verse twenty six. If any man among you seem to be religious uh -huh. and burdeneth of not, not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart. This man religion is in vain. That's right. Just says if you're gonna speak big, speak, speak of the scriptures, speak of the oracles of the most high God, man. You gotta use, use these scriptures, man. Don't come up with you with your own fucking opinion, trying to give me this big old thesis of what you, what you believe in. I don't care. If it ain't coming out of the Bible, it is it is it's pointless, it is vain, all right? It, it, it is all for naught. All come, right. Come on, man. Uh you know, you got you got Israelites or two thirds gen that come up here and they just start talking their ass off, man. Yep, yep. They start talking until they start deceiving their own hearts, man. Yep. They start deceiving themselves, man. Just like the brother was saying, the, uh, the uh, two thirds gen who was talking to the woman, the harlot, she was talking about she's supposedly supposed to be a Christian. She was saying uh, she was talking so much that she said that the Lord doesn't kill, yep. and he just cut up right then and there with that scripture. Yeah, that's, I told her. I said, listen, you know you know what you're talking about. All you're doing is talking. All right, all that's what, and especially the fucking nigga woman. All she knew how to do is fucking talk, man. Run out fucking mouth. Can't shut the fuck up. Scripture talk about that. A lot of clamorous women know of nothing. Say that shit. She couldn't even perceive that. I said, listen, you don't understand that. What you know right now is completely against the scripture. You you just running your fucking mouth. You don't you don't know what you said. You just running your mouth, and that right there is a waste of both our time. All right, and, when I, and she, she, so she, she still wanted to swore me down. She knew about the Bible. I asked that question. Okay, does the Most High God kill? And that's and that right there is an easy, easy way to tell if somebody know the Bible or not. For real. Okay, does the Most High God, God, God kill? Uh, no. What? No. That shit sounds good. All right, that's what Christians say. God doesn't kill. No, it, it's, it's the devil that kills. But you go to that scripture showing you that the Most High God is the one, the one that kills and makes it alive. Yeah. You can't get around that. <laughs> so boom, now you confound it. And then what happened? They, 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 that's when they start getting all mad and shit, man. Now, now it becomes a slander campaign. Oh, see, y'all Israelites, like, y'all always do that, do that, do that, do that. Yeah, that's crazy, man, because I remember the, uh, the one, uh, one of my sub teachers, man, he, I was cutting him up, man, and he, he started getting heated, man. Yeah. All right, the conversation started getting heated. And yeah. I told him, let's just cut this off right now, because I can see that you're starting to get offended. Bro. Starting to get emotional. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they always get emotional, man. Hey, the scripture says, blessed is he who is not offended in me, man. Uh, Which the Lord said that, man. So really, if you're offended at what we, we're saying up here, which is the truth, you're offended in the Lord, man. That's right. That's so the right. Lord's going to have to destroy you, man, put you out of your misery, man. That's right. All right? Um, go ahead, brother. Is that it? It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 8. Behold, behold, you trust in lying words and cannot profit. It said, behold, you trust in lying words, man. If that does not explain Israelites today, man, I don't know what does. These people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, believe anything you hear, except the truth. Right. When the truth come out, nah, I don't know about that. But you got uh, the news come out and tell you that everybody needs to take these V's, and you got people happy to, happy as hell going to take it, man. They, 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 they fucking trust in that, man. They, tr they trust in Egypt, man. Go ahead, read that again, that was beautiful. Jeremiah chapter seven, verse eight. Behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. Yep, so you got these people that's gonna go to church tomorrow, and they're going to trust into what the pastor's saying. This bald head pastor that's just got done eating a pork chop. You're going to trust the lying words that's coming out of his mouth, man. Go ahead. Verse 17. Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem? 
the children gather wood. Hey, the, man, he said the, the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem. He keep, the Lord will keep saying that all through the Bible, man. All through the Bible, because we're talking about the children of Israel, man. He ain't worried about you know, what the fuck they were doing in damn, 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 uh, damn, damn, damn Esau town. He know they're wicked, but he expect us to be different, man. All right, holy, uh, 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 um, set apart from these other nations, man. The certain things that these other nations do, they, they, they can do that shit, but we, the Lord gonna judge us for that, man. That's right. All right, go ahead, brother. Seest thou not what, uh, seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, mm -hmm. and the women need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. <laughs> to the queen of heaven, man. And that's what Jake always does, man. They, they always want to worship uh, other gods, man. All right, the, the queen of heaven, you know, all these, all the, and that's what America runs off of, man. America is nothing but uh, the worship of the queen of heaven, man. Yep, yep. All right, go ahead. And to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. And that's what they're gonna do tomorrow. They're gonna pour out those drink offerings. They're gonna pour out this abominable stuff tomorrow. And, 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 and to other gods, man. On um, the dough representing like the cakes and the cupcakes that they make. Right, Easter is not promoted in the Bible. It is condemned. So if you're going to celebrate it tomorrow, you don't love Jesus. All right? You don't love uh, the, uh, the God of the Bible, which I just said Jesus because I saw this, this lady walking by that says something about Jesus on her surface. Holding, and it looked like a Jake woman holding hands with an Edomite, man. So I had to use that word that they know, man. And when, and when a black woman talk about Jesus, she talking about this guy, man. Yeah. Yep. Better believe it. She, she worships this guy. This right here is not the Bible. These, these women, they, 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 are, they are in love of white, fucking white supremacy, man. Yep. All right, because white supremacy have, have gave them coins and tokens and fucking uh, 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 damn um, 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 benefits, man. That's right. All right, Esau gave them benefits. E Esau destroyed the, the, the household, destroyed the man, told the, the so-called black woman she couldn't have the man in her house if she wanted Section 8 and her, and her assistance and shit, but the white woman was able to keep her man in the house. Okay, he's going to show you that, hey, these people are fucking finished, man. Is that, is that, is that, is that it on that? No, I got no reason. This is the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 7. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Yep. And that's what they're going to do tomorrow. They're going to go and, and eat their ham and, and sell up, celebrate a, a dinner that's with all that food right there. All right? And they're going to try to give reverence to uh, uh, Jesus of the Bible. Yep. All right? That, hey, these people are hypocritical, man. God. That's why, and now, when you come into the truth, you understand why the Lord is about to destroy two thirds of His own people, man. Completely, ob completely obliterate, man. Yep. And, and, and when the, the farther you get to this truth, you start to understand why, and you start to accept it, and, and I actually wanted to come have happen more, man. Yeah, you you start to want to be part of it, man. Hell yeah. And be a part of the taking down the wicked of our people, man. Because I'm tired. I'm, I, hey, look, me. And, as a man, and I know these brothers feel the same way. We tired of this shit, man. We tired of seeing all this wickedness. We tired of seeing the nigga wo woman twerking her ass on Easter Sunday. We tired of this shit, man. Right. In a fucking sundress. Right, in a sundress. Think talking about she loved Jesus. She Jesus loved me. Period. On a period. <laughs> Made the whole place in the fire. church twerking. Nasty so fucking, as hell. Ask the fucking ew. Donnie or some shit. You see the stream coming out. Yeah, uh, these, uh, these, these, these women is finished, man. They jumping around and shit. Fucking passing over the ground, having fucking seizures from the Holy Ghost. And they actually smell a fucking a, a damn sea, a sea market. They start speaking in <laughs> What's tongues. That smell? They start speaking in tongues and shit. They don't even know what speaking in tongues is. They start speaking gibberish. Uh, blah, 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 I'm speaking in tongues. You don't even hey. know. When, when the scriptures say speaking in tongues, that just means speaking in different languages, you idiot. Yeah. Come on, man! It's not that hard. Yeah, hey, I saw a video. I posted a video this morning of a. It, it, it was a so-called Haitian church, and it was some. It was a woman up there, pastor, pastor, one pastor up there preaching, two men, men pastors up there preaching, or whatever. And then all of a sudden, some some robbers came in and kidnapped their ass. As they kidnapped him, the woman she she still singing, hiding behind the male oh pastor. He yeah. moving to the other side. <laughs> and I, I asked, I said, "What well, now, now? Now, now, were they saved from that?" Jake think they say, oh, I'm saved, I'm saved. Saved from what? What you saved from? When that damn Edomite woman said that church and shut that church up, hey, were they saved then? Nah, man. So you gotta understand that if you want, when you really get into the church, you really get to this Bible to be saved, you gotta endure until the end and you gonna need the Lord to save you, man. Yeah, you don't get saved just because you go to fucking church, man. 
Yeah, we just showed you the Lord said you want to dwell in them churches. Yeah. So just because you go to the fucking Sunday school don't mean you saved, man. Yeah, hey, the people that are saved in the Bible, which is the elect, they're literally going to, they're on earth today, and they're going to endure to the end and literally gain eternal life. It's a literal thing. It's not some imaginary thing where you die and then you go up in the clouds and you live free. No, there's men on earth that is never going to die, man. That's right. And that's what we fighting for. Yeah. All these other wicked motherfuckers out here, they're going to die. And they're going to realize that they was not saved. Yep, yep. Hey, and also, too, you got, you got motherfuckers talking about how they're going to, um, what did it say? What is that? Uh, damn, it's slipped my mind. Going into, um, uh, fuck, it's just what I mean. Mark 7 and 7, how be, uh, in vain do they worship me, mm. teaching for doctors the commandments of men. So then they, they, they teach and they repeat and regurgitate what their pastor said, man. What their pastor commanded them to do. Not what the scriptures say, what pastor said, man. Oh, oh my, my uh, granddad and my grandma are pastor. Okay, well, your grandma had a great and, 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 and a pastor according to the Bible, man. They're not a pastor of truth. They're not a pastor of showing you the righteous way of the Holy Scriptures, man. That's right. All right, and if you listen to them, you are listening to the commandments of men. Go ahead. Verse 8. For laying aside the commandment of the Most High, uh -huh. you hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups. And pastors say what? Pastors say what? That, that, that God made all things clean. You can eat whatever you want to eat. <laughs> And right there, there's a uh, right there is looking over the commandment of, of, of the Most High God and say you didn't supposed to eat these about the foods and then they do whatever the fuck pastor say, man. Then they think that when 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 when, when judgment comes, they can call upon pastor. He gonna be able to, to, to take the stripes for them. Nah, man, pastor gonna be already fucking uh, uh, obliterated. All right, and your ass is next. And you know what's messed up, man? A lot of these pastors, not all of them, but there's uh, a lot of the high pastors like Creflo Dollar and all that. They know the truth, man. They in with they in with the high elites, man. So yeah. they they. They are taught what not to teach. They get paid. All right? Yeah, they get paid. They're taking that bag, man. So they're going to get beaten with many stripes, man. Hey, and then I am just these Christian pastors, too. But still a lot of these, these yeah. Israelite fucking leaders, man. All right, if you got a 501c3, which is a government charter, your ass is sold out, man. You sold out. That's why they can't talk about the market beast. They, can't, they, don't, want, they don't want to bring up the, the, the true names of the Lord, man. They don't want to go into the market of beast. They don't want to tell you not, not, not to take that damn jab. They tell you to take it, man. Right. All right, watch out for you guys. There's a lot of false prophets amongst us, man. That's right. All right, they walk, you, got, you got guys walking around here with shaved faces and shaved heads. Somebody they, they, they believe in the Lord. You can't be if you don't you don't follow your simple scriptures about not shaving your head, not shaving your face. A man grow a beard for a reason. It ain't it, it ain't just just just, 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 just to fucking shave off. It's yeah. there for a reason, man. As we, that, as we say that, man, we got a bald head, no no face on his. Face. And I say that so you could you like kill that kind of stuff. Smirk, shit that wrong to me. Yeah, man. That, 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 that's, that's another way of Jake what? Trimming his way to seek love and envy and the oppressor, man. They hate their hair. They hate how we got this kinky hair. And they know if they go to the workforce, them Edomites hate it too. Then they'll shave it off. Or oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going completely. If nigga, nigga could they shave their eyebrows off too, man. All right? Niggas is completely gone. That's why the Lord is coming to destroy the majority of our people, man. There's no hope for them. All right? I said on that? I got a free stuff. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9. This is a rebellious people, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Most High Yahweh. Right, and we just had a Jake walk by, bald head, shaved face. He didn't want to hear this word, man. He kind of, he kind of mocked at it a little bit. He walked, he kind of uh, smirked at it. He knew what he was talking hey, about. Look, look at fucking Moab. He, put the camera on him. Mister, man, they walk around here bold as shit, bold as shit, man. Posing the whole damn sea thing, started from over there. And now they're looking at us, they're looking at niggas now. Oh yeah, we want all the blacks and spanked native Indians, but if we walk around here proudly, chest poked out, like, like nothing happened, man. Going to show you that, it, and it, we, we living in a fucking matrix, man. All right, we, we living in, a, in one big shit show. How the hell do you got the Chinese walking around here with fucking, uh, uh, damn, Ch Chinese and proud. When that shit started over there, where they was at, man? Now so they come over here, they tell us, oh yeah, it's the niggas. We need the niggas, the niggas, the niggas, the niggas. What the fuck? It's a lot, go ahead. Oh, no, I got some that was you. It says, which say to the seers, see not, right, and to so, the prophets, go ahead, go ahead. prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy to see. And that's what our people want to hear, man. That's why they're going to go to church tomorrow. That, hey, and I, I read an article that the church is 50% uh, uh, destroyed in America now. Oh, yeah. They're losing 50% of their people, man. 
because the truth is coming out. Yeah. We are exposing the Christian church. We're letting you know they're not teaching you the truth in a Christian church. But that's why they're going to go to church tomorrow because they want to hear lies, man. That's right. We're not here to lie to you, man. We're going to tell you what it is for what it is in the Bible. You're going to come with your opinions. We're going to come with Bible verses, man. That's right. That's right. All right. To cut your opinion, man. Opinions like assholes, man. Everyone got one, man. And we ain't got time to hear it, man, because we're going to read what the Bible says, man. All right. Um, I mean, hey, and at, at church tomorrow, they go, they go preach that prosperity. Yep, yep. You're going to have Jake's go to church tomorrow to preach prosperity when the scriptures say that the true prophets are going to prophesy the downfall and destruction of kingdoms. That's right. That's why we go out here and we tell you that America is going to be destroyed by nukes. That's right. Right. World War III is about to pop off China, Iran, Russia. They're going to shoot nukes over here. And hey, then you're going to know. Put the camera. All right? Put the camera. Look at all those niggas. Not one of them stopped and, 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 and asked some questions or even think the thought, thought, thought the, what y'all talking about, uh, what, 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 what that's in the Bible. That's the majority of our men right there, man. Put the camera on them again. Look at them niggas. Down here sightseeing and shit. Well, the, the, those, supposed, those supposed to be our, 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 our fucking... Hey, they, they trying to find them a sin. Our damn elders, man. What's supposed to be our, 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 the, the rulers of our nation right there? Them niggas ain't worried about what we're worried about like, our people or, 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 or this truth or this Bible or our Lord, man. Yeah, and that's why you see a majority of the camps is young men. That's right. right. Young men out here, man. The Lord called young men. And you got the elders. And they started out as young men. All right? And, he, and these older Jakes, man, these older Jakes that, 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 that you try to bring this truth to, they're not going to fucking get it, man. Nope. They, a lot of their ass is too far gone, man. They, 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 they'd have been beat and, and, and destroyed in this uh, Edomite captivity for, for way too long, man. They've been here for too long, and, and, and they ain't trying to get out, man. They, 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 they happy here. They, they, they like being good nigger servants. Man. Hey, but if we, all, if, we had a tuck, if we all had a tuxedo on, a collection plate, and we was chucking and jiving, singing songs and shit, we'd have a whole crowd out here. Yeah, yeah. But we out here teaching the truth, and everybody just walking by, acting like, I don't, I don't know about that. Folly is setting great dignity, man. Folly is setting great dignity, man. And the rich sitting in low place, man. Folly's out here playing a damn trombone. I have a fucking whole crowd. They be whole crowd, right. throwing me fucking quarters and shit. And you, you got Jake going to church and shit, and then they, they get off a bus, all right? Get given pastor their last ten dollars and get off a bus, and the pastor go hop in a new car every week, man. You getting fucking robbed, man. Our people, our people, our people are very sottish. All right, our sottish people. Somebody, somebody grab me that too. But this is Isaiah chapter thirty, verse one. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel but not of me. And Jake is very rebellious, man. And they take counsel from everybody but the prophets. That's right. Everybody but the prophets. They'll yeah. listen to Creflo Dollar. They'll listen to the Christian church. They'll, they'll listen, listen to, to Plies. Plies. They'll listen to fucking right. <laughs> Megan the Stallion. She come yeah. out here. Everybody's stopping listening. She got to fucking see. Yep. All right. But when the prophets come out here, it's like, oh, yeah, them niggas talking again. Hey, that's, that's in what? I think it's in Sirach. When a rich God. man speaketh, every man stop and hold up the tongue to see what he can say. But when a poor man speak, they hey, they hiss, they, they hiss, and they, they nag their teeth and all that, man. Yeah. All right, I'm actually going to grab that. It says, but not of me, and that take cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, Oof. that they may add sin to sin, mm. that walk to go down to Egypt and have not asked at my mouth <laughs> to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. And what's the Lord's mouth? The prophets. So you're not coming up and asking and inquiring about the Bible. You want to listen to Creflo Dollar, man. All right? And they go down to Egypt for help. America is modern day Egypt, man. That word yeah. Egypt goes into Mizraim, which is bondage, man. Yeah. Hey, you, we was brought over here on slave ships, man. We was not here to uh, 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 build a whole community and uh, 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 kitchens and shit, man. Soup kitchen. Soup kitchen. We here to get the fuck out of here, man. That's the whole point, man. The whole point of why we came into this truth, why we, why, we, why we understand this word, why we get this word is to get the hell out of America, man. Sure. Not to get comfortable in America. Niggas got it backwards, man. All right? They pick up this truth and they try to get comfortable in America, try to, you know what I'm saying, kick their feet up. Oh, yeah, you know, we, we, got, we got this big old school. We got all these uh, students in this school. And they try to get comfortable here, man. We're we, we going to build our own Hebrews-like community and this and the third. Nah, man, to hell with that. The, point, the goal is to get the hell out of America, man. To, to, to see this place be destroyed. That's what she should, that's what she should be. She desperately wanting is to see America be destroyed, man. Yep. Get in your right mind. But the Egypt's on this side, hey, they trust in this place. They go down to America for help. They're completely finished, man. Yeah, the scripture said they take a covering, but not of my spirit, man. The spirit is what? The truth. The true knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Bible. That's when you really get the Holy Spirit upon you. Uh -huh. 
the Holy Spirit is not just some fairy tale thing that you, oh I got the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit comes with the truth. Oh, kind, kind. You know what I, I was gonna say too earlier that slipped my mind when they said in the Christian church, damn, he, he love he love them some fucking Esau, huh? But <laughs> when they when they read the shit, read the shit, read the shit, I'm lying. Red as hell. But, but, uh, but the, um, the, um, the Christian church didn't say that they'll bring that scripture out about how no, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And that's actually literal talking about no weapon formed against the prophets, the saints of the most high God shall prosper, man. Unless you got a machine gun, a damn bow and arrow, some damn uh, uh, pestilence, whatever, whatever it may be. But these damn niggas in the church will think it's talking about the damn niggas, other niggas in the church gossiping about them. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. <laughs> Why they ain't that gossiping about that? And it's just, she going home to gossip too. So you the, I, I'm like, listen, man, when I went to church, man, and I was sincere. I was like, I was like eight years old, sincerely trying to get, get, trying to understand what this is all about. Where's the Most High God? You know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to find a conclusion of the whole matter. I was in church, and it was an old ass. It was these old ass fucking bags, old ass hags in this fucking church. It was, it was demons, man. They were straight demons. I'm like, damn. And this was the church of the Most High God. They supposed to be so highly esteemed up in this church. This, this is a reflection of what it's about. And they would sit at this table, they had like a breakfast section or whatever. They would sit at this table and all they do was talk shit, man. All they do was talk shit. <laughs> I'm out of the table, look at him. I'm like, damn, so this ain't it, man. The church ain't it. The Christian church, that shit is finished, man. And that's why they losing members, nothing right, because the truth is starting to come out and Jake's starting to wake up, man. We come into a town where the Lord is waking people up and he keep bringing us out of this damn dead sleep, man. Sorry. If you still go in the church, the Christian church, if you still celebrate these pagan customs like holiday and Easter and Thanksgiving and New, New Year's Day and shit, you are dead asleep, man. All right? You are completely finished, completely lost. And unless you repent and wake up and come out of that darkness, you're going to be destroyed. Hey, I got it. Real quick. Uh, Sirach 13 and 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue and look what he saith. So, when they say, like we said, say you have fucking... Yeah, yeah. Anybody who got money come out here, man. A nigga can have not even a lot of money here, just a little bit of money. If he, if he, if he, if he, if he fucking Instagram famous, right. okay, he can stand right there, right there, that fucking right there. And this, and this whole fucking put put a camera up there. He can stand right up there, and this whole fucking river wall will be fucking flooded. They'll drown us the fuck out, <laughs> and be listening to what this guy gotta say. All right, he, he could be a fucking homosexual, a damn murderer, a, a, a damn serial killer, whatever the fuck. Little Nas come up there and start speaking and holding there. That whole fucking crowd will be out here of oh, fucking flamers. Listen to what he got to say. Go ahead. He <laughs> says, they extol it to the cloud. That, that, when they, he, he speak, oh, wow, wow. He, you hear what he said? Look, look, look. It's, it's such a such a such Oh, my God. Look, 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 look. They start putting their lighters up. Yeah, they, they got their <laughs> camera phones going and shit. Go ahead. It says, but if the poor man speak. And the poor is poor, poor symbolic for what? Us, man. We the poor men, all right? The Israelites, man, and the, the saints, the prophets, man. Even what? even our Lord said that what? The son of man have not a place to lay his head, okay? So even our Lord wasn't some great, uh, 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 damn rich man, all right? So when a poor man speaketh, what happens? But if a poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? They look at you crazy, man. Who the hell is you? Who you think you is? Well, what what, what he talking about? It's true. Why is he talking? <laughs> oh, he, oh, 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 he's talking again. He's talking again. Oh, God. Go ahead. Shut up. <laughs> and start throwing tomatoes at you yeah. and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Start throwing tomatoes at you. Yeah, get a job and shit. and shit. It says, uh, and if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Yeah. So, so you, you start stumbling at your lips and oh, you see, <laughs> he's stupid. That well, guy don't know he's hey, no nonsense. Hey, but Bi Biden go on TV. You know, fucking stumbling all over his words. I, 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 I. Hey, that Bunch was, time. No, hey, that was like, <laughs> hey, right, 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 right. He's like, he's like, oh, never mind, never mind. I thought that bitch be, he be, I, 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 lunch time. Yeah, yeah. He just shut down. Hey, that, but, that, hey, that's like that episode of, uh, that's, yeah, for real. <laughs> they start clapping their hands and shit. Uh, uh, yeah, I saw one of uh, Biden where he was stumbling with his words and he just said, Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, never mind. yeah, yeah. They said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like that episode of SpongeBob, man, where um, who was it? Squidward and SpongeBob, they on stage or whatever, and uh, SpongeBob out there, I think it is, and they giving them praise or whatever. Yeah, because he was he was probably playing a flute. He was fucking it all up. <laughs> he, he was playing all wrong. He was like, and then, yeah. And, and the Squidward come out there been practicing for for years. Been out there, you know what I'm saying? His whole life was around around this thing. And everybody's like. 
get off the stage! And then they start, they start, yeah, and, then and then they go back, and then uh, SpongeBob put his hand out, and they they they, they cheer. Yeah, and Squidward yeah. put his hand out, and they start throwing tomatoes and shit. <laughs> hey, that's exactly what it is, man. Hey, man, these scriptures is just real life right here, man. It's, it's, it's real. Well, we got we got so many examples and uh, scenarios for what these scriptures talking about because it's actually real life, man. Uh, we actually seeing this in this lifestyle, showing you the the, 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 the word is true, man. Right, real, real All right, the word is true. Sirach 13 and 22, when a rich man is fallen, he has many helpers. Yep. He speaketh things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. Yep. Hey, like that guy, uh, uh, who was it recently? Oh, uh, no, nah, I ain't going to those guys, but, uh. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Nas X, man. Let's go to Lil Nas X. Yeah, let's go to Lil Nas X. That motherfucker was doing shit, that motherfucker was actually just justifying him, man. I was like, oh, you know, no, he doesn't mean like that. It's, you know, no, no. But listen, man. That shit is wicked. And what these people do, they wicked, man. And, and then the rich of this world, to get rich in this world, you have to completely sell out to Satan, man. Yeah, you gotta do some you, wicked You gotta stuff, completely sell out to Satan. And Satan wants you to do everything the most High tells us not to do. Yep. So when the, when, when, when the Lord said you're gonna be a homosexual, what do you gonna do? They go, they go do some homosexual shit. When the Lord said you're gonna eat abomination, they go do some eat, 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 eat some abominable shit, man. You got these celebrities, they, 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 they drinking urine and semen and eating feces and shit and, and these satanic rituals, man. That's really what they do. Yeah. All right, really what they do. But they come out here and, and they talk to you with shit up on their breath. And, and the whole world stop listening to them, man. The whole world will stop and, and give, give them reverence. But we are preaching this word in righteousness and truth and sincerity. When, when I when I even uh, uh, smidge the pork on our breath, and the whole world looking down upon us, man. Yeah. Hey, the, the, the Megan Thee Stallion and, and uh, Sawedis, whatever their name is, they have set the woman a hundred years back, man. Hell yeah. A hundred years back. They back to slavery, man. All right, but it says... The poor man slipped, and yet they rebuked him too. He spake wisely and could have no place. And that's what we do. We speak wisely, but we don't have a place in this world. And we're speaking true wisdom, man. True wisdom is going to be sprung out from the prophets of the Most High, man. That's right, that's right. But we have no place in this world, man. Like Yahweh Shai said, uh, the, the foxes have holes, the birds have uh, 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 nests. But the son of man have no place to raise his head, to set his head. Same with us, man. We have no, we're not, we have no place in this society. Yeah, yeah. We're looked down upon. No sure dwelling place. Yep. You might, you might have a house, but it's rented. Right. Or you might have an apartment. They, 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 at least by the end, about to come up. We have, yeah, we have no certain dwelling place, man. We at the bottom of this place, man. That's why we want to get the hell up out of here, cause hey, we ain't catching, we catching nothing but hell here, man. Absolute hell. You an Israelite man, especially knowing you're an Israelite man, you, you should be upset. People ask you, why are you so angry? Why are you so angry, man? Hey, oppression makes up the wise man mad. You ain't angry, you ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't oppressed, man. Uh, if you ain't angry, you, you, you ain't fucking wise. Okay? When you, you have some understanding, you're gonna realize what's going on around you, man. And you're gonna realize that this way this shit is going is, is not to, to, to benefit us, man. They eventually want to exterminate all of Jake. Yeah. They got plans in motion to exterminate us, man. Yeah. They've been had in motion, man. Before this whole fucking C Crown Royal thing, man. They've been had plans in motion to exterminate us, but now it's just furting uh, 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 or, or being further. And there's we in right right now, man. Yeah. Come, come a time where Jacob's gonna get laid out in the fucking streets, man. You're gonna see dead bodies all this all in the we're all in the road and shit. Right. They're gonna be black dead bodies, man. Yeah. Alright, Edomite's gonna be all up on top of buildings with snipers and shit. We coming to that time, man. We'll break chaos and hell's about to break loose out here. If you ain't on the right side of your house, I'll show you you're gonna be destroyed, man. That's what? Peace up. Peace up, brother. Hold on, grab this brother's piece up real quick. Go ahead. 2 Thessalonians 11 and verse 11. Well, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for this, the Most High shall send them a strong delusion that, that they shall believe a lie. Hold on. Hold up one. Verse 10. And with all the feebleness of unrighteousness. Verse nine, even him who's come. Come on, come on. Read a book. Read a book. Give me the book. Give me book and everything. Second Thessalonians. It's important, right there. Go ahead. Second Thessalonians two. Where you want me to start? Two verses up from where you where you at. Verse eight, two and eight, and then shall the wicked be revealed, uh -huh. whom Yahweh shall shall consume with the spare of his mouth. So the wicked is going to be revealed, which is Esau, and also you got the wicked of our people, man. All right, who fall after Esau? Listen, man, the modern day uh, a nigga in America was made by the so-called white man. All right, the, the, these niggas out here, man, that we we, we we cussing out and shit, they was created in America by America by the so-called white man. All right, and and their wickedness has been revealed. 
we, 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 we are all seeing how things are supposed to be and how things are not supposed to be. All right, go ahead. Uh, whom Yahusha shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So they, they receive not the love of this truth, man. And in the day, you got to get this truth. And that's where you're going to be saved, man. By getting this truth, getting this word, and you got also got to be the elect. That's why everybody can't get the truth. That's why everybody can't get it. You might go to your cousin, your, your auntie, your mama, your, your, your brother, whatever. You got to get him to get it. He, he, he's not picking it up. Because everybody ain't going to be saved, man. Everybody can't get this truth. Go ahead. Verse 11. And for this, the most, for this cause, the most high shall send them a strong delusion mm -hmm. that they should believe a lie. Uh -huh. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. So the Lord got them believing lies, man. He said, you, you're going to extend you a strong delusion that you should believe a lie. That all they that don't believe the truth shall be damned, man. You know what it means to be damned? It means that you are fitted to be destroyed, man. You, it's over for you, man. All right? The Lord sent them a strong delusion. The strong delusion was what? This guy right here. This was the strongest delusion. The strongest delusion, man. People, people will go to bat over this guy. And this guy won't lift a fucking any, anybody that look like this guy won't lift a fucking thing for your ass, man. Hell yeah. All right. I saw a video of a, of a damn guy, an Edomite that looked like this guy with, 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 with a shortcut, and he, he he was overdosing, man. You had two Jakes what, what, bringing him back to life, bringing him back to life. And he looked at me like you guys are good people. You guys are good people. And I was all through the spirit. You guys are real thorough. You guys are real thorough. You guys are good people. That was that, was, that showed you the spirit of Jake versus the spirit of Esau. Esau trying to kill himself, and Jake as in their own co confusion try, trying to save this damn devil, man. All right, go okay. ahead. But I had a pleasure in unrighteousness. We're bringing that last part back, 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 um, back a little bit. Verse 12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. So the ones that want to hear this truth, that don't want to hear this word, we are here for a purpose, man. And once we, once we done get, letting this word go out, we we going we, we, we to get, get up out of here. We get up out of here. We know y'all want to see us. We get up out of out here. And our job here is done. The word has, has went out. After that, judgment time. That's right. All right, go ahead. But have pleasure in unrighteousness. They have pleasure in unrighteousness. Man. We're talking about Easter right now, man. That shit is wicked. It's unrighteous. But they're gonna have pleasure that tomorrow. They gonna, they're gonna like, ignore us all day today and go celebrate that shit tomorrow. Man, you gonna have Jake's passing by that heard us talk about this today. They're gonna go celebrate that shit tomorrow. Guess what? They they're gonna be fitted for destruction, man. Yep. Damn that believe not in the truth. Alright, go ahead. It's a good chapter right there. Verse 13, but we are bound, we are bound to give thanks always to the most high for you, brethren, beloved of the of Yahweh Shah, because the most high have from the beginning chosen you to salvation. The Lord said from the beginning, he has chosen us to the salvation. Man, Lord, when we be that elect, man. At the end of the day, it's all about the elect. It's all about the elect, man. And for the elect, you know, you know who try to convince they ass to come out of camp, man. You ain't got to try to convince they ass to, to fucking stop celebrating pagan holidays, man. You got to try to convince them to uh, serve the Lord, man. That, that, that right there is a, show, uh, 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 a, a sure tell of who is the elect or not. But man can come out here and do this work willingly. You got you to fucking, hey, brother, you coming out of camp? Hey, well, uh, yeah, brother, well, yeah. But they got to beg you to come out of camp. It shows you who this is for and who is not for, man. Through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth, uh -huh. whereunto he called you by our gospel. He said, in belief of the truth. Okay, you got you got you got to really believe in this thing, man. The scripture says what to be persuaded in your own minds. Yep. So don't come back because you see us because you see us out here. Oh, they out there, they out there. Man. I gotta go up there. Cool. They out there, man. Nah, you gotta come back because you actually have been persuaded in your own mind that this is the truth. This is the real. This is the real deal, and that you should be out here trying to afford this damn ministry, man. All right. Whereunto he called you by our gospel to obtaining of the glory of your of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught. Oh, you said hold the traditions which ye have been taught. What's the traditions, man? Following that old path, man. All right, the, 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 the traditions is the way, the way of truth, man. Because hey, listen, man, these modern day traditions that man follow is completely off and wicked, man. These pagan holidays is it's wrong, it's off, it's abomination. We got to go back to the traditions that we have taught, we we will learn in the scriptures, man. Right. Easter ain't in the fucking Bible. All right, Christmas ain't in the Bible. Halloween ain't in the Bible. So if you celebrate those traditions, you are celebrating the traditions of men over the traditions of, of the Most High, man. Sweet. All right, go ahead. Whether by word or our pistol, mm -hmm. 
Now our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach himself, and Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, even our Father, which have loved us and have given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. That's right. So establish you in every good word and work, man. We should be trying to establish ourselves in every good uh, 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 um, 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 word and, and work, man. All right, doing this work, this truth, the best your ability, come out preaching this word, so you can you can Lord will be saved, man. It's not just for you either, for your whole household, man. You might have a household that's trying to be saved, okay. We come into that time where the Lord said, well, He's waking His people up, telling us to get right, telling us to repent, telling us to come out of this darkness so that we can get up out of here, man. All right. That's what it's about, getting the hell up out of here. We're not trying to fucking build a fucking career here. We don't we don't we don't we don't want to build a family, a big ass house and and, and and my wife and kids bullshit. To hell with that, man. It would be lovely, but we understand this ain't the time for that, man. We we had we, we had to forsake that. Jake still ain't fucking all all up all, 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 all up that damn woman ass, man. Oh uh, oh my woman, man. My woman. I had a Jake tell me today, man. I got I got I gotta say it. Hey, Jake came and tell me today. The boys came out today. You know what he told my ass? Oh, oh, my mama said I can't go out until I, until, until I get the vaccine. What? She's, she's the thing. What? The, the thing, all right? He said she can't go out today until you get the thing. All right, so, yeah. That's that. Okay. Now, they, you, you, they, they get you. You say something, something bad about it, so I'm trying to keep not saying nothing bad about it. Now, I can't say what I was going to say. <laughs> so, let's just forget about it. Oh, um, that was it on that? Yeah, I got another one. Hold on. What y'all got down here? Uh, I had a scripture. Come on, what y'all got? This is uh, James chapter 2 and verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brother, has not the most high chosen the poor of, the, of this world rich in faith? Mm, and rich in faith. And yeah, these guys talking about faith based Israelites, man. Faith based Israelites. It's a good thing to be a faith based Israelite. This thing is all about faith, man. All right. Hey, in that, in that movie, oh, that new Justice League movie, we had Batman ass, okay? And they, had, they, they, they got um, Flash asking, what was his power? He said, I'm rich. Uh -huh. All right. And then Batman, uh, um, um, the guy, um, his butler or whatever, was asking him, like, yo, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to get Superman to come back. And he said, for once in my life, I'm following faith. Uh, it's, it's about faith. Okay. So at it's the end of the logic. day, yeah, instead of logic. Once in my life, I'm following faith instead of logic. That's what, that's what we've been doing this whole time, man. It's all about faith. All right, you got to believe in this thing. So to, to, to those logical people, they, they'll see this and they, oh, they're all crazy, it's not happening, it's impossible, uh, uh, they, they, they just can't see it. They don't have no faith, man. You got to have faith in this thing. All right, go ahead, brother. It says, and heirs of the kingdom which he has promised to them that love him. Uh-huh. Heirs of the kingdom that have promised to them. Hey, so the Lord said, we, uh, Lord, when we be that, those elect, we're going to be heirs to the kingdom of heaven, man. That's why I'm really not, we're not worried about this current life in this current world as, as, as we see it, man. We want to be heirs to the kingdom to come, the world to come, man. That's what's the most important thing to us. It should be the most important thing to you. So if it's not, something is wrong with you. All right? Go ahead. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 16. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. Mm -hmm. All right? Like we out here today, man, our wisdom is despised. They, they hate what we bring it out. If you're a poor man and you're trying to teach on the streets, nobody gonna come by and listen to you, man. Yeah, you got you got like your brother said, you got a suit on, a suit and tie on, and then a bucket. Okay, everybody gonna be around. You have a whole crowd around. They wanna see you dance. Okay, they gonna say dance, nigga. Okay, that's how, that's how it is in this world, man. This world is wicked. This world, this world it, you know, it, it, it brings up the things that are wicked and brings to low. The lowliness, the things that are righteous, man. Yeah. All right, you can have somebody out here talking about some completely homo shit, stupid, wicked shit, man. And they'll quote it. But if he's a rich man, they're gonna quote it and they're gonna put it in their bios on Instagram, man. Yeah. Uh, that's right. What you got, brother? All right, I got a precept. This is Jeremiah chapter four, verse uh, twenty-two it says, "For my people is foolish; they have not known me. They are sodden children." And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Kind. And it's plain speech, man. All right. And you got, you got, you got the one going inside is being stupid, man. Hey, man, you see Israel out here. You know what I'm saying? So-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man, doing what the hell they want to do, man. Wow. All right, stupid ass stuff, man. All right, they have no understanding of what's being brought out, man. Wow. All right. 
Proverbs one and twenty, man. Wisdom cries out in the chief prince of conquerors, man. We in, we in a, a high popularity era right now, bringing this word out. All right, through the spirit of power, y'all about Shemal Shai. You got Jake walking right past here. All right. Now understanding that they're marking themselves, man. It says for my people is foolish, man. They're foolish because why? They continue to walk, man. And if they stop by, they're either gonna mark or stop, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, they're gonna laugh at it. Uh, 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 no, you got just like you know what I'm saying. They're gonna they're gonna treat this truth, all right, which is good to the ears, all right. They can hear. They're gonna treat it as evil, man. They want to hear what the pastor saying. They got them churches, man. They want to still be in the churches giving offers to them pedophiles down there, man. Oh, that's right. All right. Now it says, "Why is it evil?" Okay, but to do righteousness, they have no knowledge, man. Uh -huh. All right, meaning what? They can teach you all these ways on how to do something wicked. Yeah. Okay, they can show you different methods and tactics. Yeah, we got, we got okay, all, all these, all these different strategies on how to do something wicked. But to do something righteous, okay, they can't tell you the first thing. They can't tell you the simplest thing, man. All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You done with that? Uh, uh, right here. This is the book of First Corinthians chapter three and verse eighteen. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. All right? Everything you know in this world, throw that shit away, okay? Because, <laughs> hey, what does scripture say? I'm about to bring it up. It says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, man. All right? And bring, bring, bring that back again, brother. Bring that back again. It says, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. The wisdom, the wisdom of this world is foolish with the Lord, man. Uh, all right? It's foolish, man. I mean, the stuff you see today, you might go to school, you learn about, man. All that shit is foolish, man. Dang. That has nothing to do with this truth, man. That's, right. That's that program that Esau has programmed in your head to live by these standards, man. Right. All right? That, that is all foolish to the Lord. Lord don't wanna, the Lord's not hearing that shit, man. All right? He's not dealing with that, man. He's dealing with this truth, all right? He's dealing with the prophet is bringing out this truth. And if you can't get the real, all right, of this understanding, then none of this shit doesn't matter, man. That's right. None of that shit matters. Whatever's going on in this place, man, the time of Noah right now, man, you can see it, man. Giving the marriage, people doing what the hell they want to do, all right? Hey, Lord not having that, man. He going to make sure in that time, just like he, can't, he did in the time of Noah, close that ark. And this is a spiritual ark right now, man. That right. person's building up. All right, if you can't, hey, if you're not hearing uh, what, what, what's being built up right now, all right, and what's about to be closed, then your ass is done for, man. Right. And this time, the Lord comes back with thermal nuclear fire. He's uh. about to destroy this place with thermal nuclear fire. Uh. What you know today as America will be destroyed with thermal nuclear fire. That's right. So all the falliness, the bullshit, and everything that's going on will not matter in that time and that day. Con. You can come up and pull all your degrees out your pocket, all right? Teach me about biology, teach me about the fucking atmosphere, all right? So. At the end of the day, I'm going to school your ass on these scriptures, man. <laughs> I'm going to school your ass on how to get into the kingdom, okay? Because that's what that's all that matters. You can come up here and talk all that advanced shit all you want to, man. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to get me anywhere. But these scriptures is what's going to get you eternal life, all right? Eternal glory and riches in the kingdom, man. God. All right, that's what I want. That's what I'm born for. That's what all these brothers up here are born for, man. God. So at the end of the day, all that shit you wasted all those years on, all those years of your life, okay, it means nothing. You've lived for no reason. God. Born for nothing, man. Bring that scripture back right. from the woman to our heart. And that's right. All right? And hey, we were set up to do a job, man. All right? And we're doing that job right now through the spirit power y'all about Shemal Shai. All right? It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. So stay stay, stay being a damn fool, man. Stay being foolish, Jake. All right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and damn American, man. Stay falling off the oppression. All right? Go ahead. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. Mm -hmm. right, you can be the wisest man in the earth, man. You can be Bill Gates. You got uh, Bill Gates, man. Or fucking Stephen Hawking. Man. Stephen Hawking. Yep, Stephen Hawking. Oh, the guy that was in a chair, boy, bent up, curled up. Yeah. He was one of he's he was known to be one of the uh, wisest men of this world. But the Lord sees him as a fool, man. That's why uh, there was a meme that was what 2018, whenever he died. Uh, Stephen Hawking said this in 2019. There is no there is no Stephen Hawking no more. Hey, guess what? <laughs> guess what? He, he, he had to go out with some some damn. Folly, man, some bullshit, man. Saying something, man, to go what cost you the earth, man. Alright, they they had the these devils, these devils, man, the earth was getting to the head of wicked man, Joe 924, man. Alright. 
these devils are set up to destroy and, 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 and push their wickedness, man. Right. All right? But, uh, that's, that's, yeah, bring it back. Well, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Hey, man, listen. You get caught up into Esau's bullshit, and you're going to be destroyed with the ass, man. Plain and simple. All right? Because the Lord's not dealing with that. But this is Isaiah chapter chapter 9, verse 16. It says, for the leaders of this people cause them to err. And who's in rulership right now? Esau, man. All right, causing who? Jake, man, so-called uh, so Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, man, to err, man. You got Jake out here eating crab, pork, shrimp, or lobster, all right? Doing everything they want to do. You got Eve doing what the hell she want to do, twerking her ass every time you go on the damn uh -huh. social media, she want to do what the hell she want to do. Wow. All right, whopping the wop, wop, you know what I mean? All that wicked shit, man. All right, this is the things that Esau uh, 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 allows to happen, man. The Lord's not dealing with that, man. What? Right. Lord's not dealing with none of that that that, that damn damn wickedness, man. Oh. All right. And who are who does our people consider to be their leaders, man? Esau, the damn, the damn celebrities, Esau, the Edomites. Yep. All right, look what them motherfuckers are doing, man. They show you every day on TV. They show you on the radio, man. All right, look what they're doing. And these and our people look to that for leadership. They look to that and teach it to their kids and say, this is how you should live. Yep, and that yep. is how they live their lives, man. Yep. And it says, I'm going to start from top. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16. It says, for the leaders of this people cause them to err. All right? Damn Esau, man. So-called white man. You know the day that walks in one these damn devils, man. All right? And they that are led of them are destroyed. Right. Uh, no, Paul, hold that sign up, man. I go to, they said that them are led to be destroyed, man. Uh, bro, you're going to be destroyed for what? Thermonuclear fire, man. Right. All right? None of that shit matters. Because these damn oppressors that are set up amongst you today, all right, this is what they're leading you to, and they know it. They know it. Guess what? They say, when they, they trying to say they own ass, man, making make damn bumpers and shit today, man. All right? They got all this shit set up, but they got you going down that route. Right. They got you going down that route, Jake. Right. So-called Negro, Latinos, and the American man. They got you going down that route. But let's believe it. Esau don't give a damn about you, man. Scripture says, never trust thy enemy. That's right. And you're going to trust your enemy. At the end of the day, why? Because that's all the fucking thing you know, man. Jake, destroy for a lack of knowledge. Don't got it. Don't understand. And it's ultimately because you, 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 you went off, man. You went off. And you continue to go off. That's why you see Jake still doing what the hell they're doing today, man. More of the damn story. Kind. It's the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Be word lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. That's right. So you got, you got, you got people coming up with these vain philosophies and these vain deceits. They're pushing doctors of, of devils to you, to you people, man. All right, that's how you came to worship and celebrate these pagan colonies, pagan customs, but they was pushing this stuff to you, man. Telling you it was okay, telling you it was alright, and then Jake see everybody else doing it. They do what everybody else doing, man. They see Esau doing it, they do whatever, whatever Esau ass doing, man. Go ahead. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach. So after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of this world, and not after Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man. So the ways of this world, the ways people are, are celebrating the things they're celebrating, the way that they're going about the, the thing they do in this world is all after the rudiments and the traditions of this world and not after our Lord, man. Not after the scriptures, not after the truth, man. So everything that's going on around here, so people are, are, are indulging in, is completely uh, 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 um, the opposite of the way it's supposed to go in the scriptures, man. So, That's why when we bring out these, these, these righteous things and these righteous uh, high, high holy days and the righteous ways uh, to serve the Lord, they look at us crazy. Because all they know is the wrong way, man. Uh, I got a, a precept real quick. Going into these idols, man. And if you want to uh, go into these idols real, real uh, thoroughly, go to Baruch chapter six. The whole, the whole chapter six tells you about these idols, and the Lord chops it up, man. Real quick, it says Baruch six and verse twenty-seven. They also that serve them are ashamed, for if they fall to the ground at any time, they cannot rise up again of themselves. Neither if one set them up upright, they can move of themselves. That's right. So you got people actually worshiping like statues and shit, man. <laughs> All right. Like, like like literal idols. They praying and worshiping too, bowing down the four of. And if that thing happened to tip over that damn that counter, it's, it's, it, 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 it'll break. If they set it up straight, it can't move. It can't talk. It can't think. It can't breathe. It can't smell. Time, time. Okay. It says, neither if they be bowed down can they make themselves straight. 
but they sent gifts before them as unto dead men. Real quick, verse 44. Hey, and as an example of that, like you say, gifts of form as they do with the dead men. Well, when you see uh, somebody get get get, get uh, killed or something in the car accident or something like that, maybe, maybe, and they might die somewhere, what's the first thing people do? They go get all them candles with all the damn fucking saints on it, all right, these, these pagan saints on it, or damn this guy on it. You might have this guy on the damn camera. They gonna put them all around this damn burial. It was it was, it was was one video of this guy, Junior, that got killed. Some, some, some little Jake kid in New York got killed. And they put up all these candles and stuff, and then people and the wind came and blew all that shit down, man. Sure. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, another example is the Christmas tree, man. They set that idol up and they put gifts all on on the bottom of it, man. Yeah. But if that Christmas tree were to fall, that that Christmas tree can't lift itself back up. Yep. It's yep. an idol. It's wood. Gone. All right. Gone. Hey, and another, another thing too, when you when you when you when you really research it around Christmas time, a lot of houses get burnt down, man. And a lot of times with the whole family inside them, because of those Christmas trees, man. Christmas tree to set on fire. Now, son, you, 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 you come out of your room and your damn whole living room on fire. All right, and that's how that happens. An actual lot. That right there shows you the judgment of the Lord for celebrating that pagan custom, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, it says, you know, it's crazy. You know, it says, watch it. You know, it's crazy. It'd be something so simple too, man. It'd be so simple. The, the, the lights on the, the uh, lights on the tree might just blow out. All of a sudden, the spark sun and it spark the tree and whole house gets on fire. Just yeah, something simple. Right. Just. Just yeah. because you was going off, man. Hey, it's like final destination, man. Yeah. You might you, you might die from, from the, the smallest little minuscule thing just because you don't realize that you were worshiping a false god. And that god is not there to save you. Yeah. That god you worship is not there to protect you. Uh, Nimrod ain't coming down. Uh, Christmas to help nobody, man. <laughs> All right? The Lord, the Lord is the one who kills and makes us alive. Right. And when, when the Lord brings judgment upon these people, the, the false gods you worship can't save you, man. Yeah. All right, all the all the lies and all, and all the deceit y'all 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 had worshiping all these pagan holidays y'all worshiping. Oh, it's for the kids. It's for the kids. But guess what? When when the kids die, it's because you you had them worshiping pagan holidays. That's right. People wonder why 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 why, why the kids be getting a, a straight bullet in the head. The kids be getting a damn a, a, you know fucked up out here catching damn disease or someone other. And man, and, and, and the kid might die. Why? Because just a year before you were celebrating all these pagan holidays, somebody's for the kids. It's for the kids. Well, the most high is a serious power, and he will take your kids, man. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 44. Whatsoever is done among them is false. How may it then be thought or said that they are gods? They are made of carpenters and goldsmiths. Mm. They can be nothing else than the workmen will have them to be. That's right. Damn. So, they, so they, they might get, he might have a, a, a damn workman carve it up and be what he wanted to be. And that's all it's going to be, man. It's a damn rock shaped as whatever the fuck. Okay, that's all, that's all it is. People will sit, sit down, and they'll bring gifts to it, and they'll pray before it, and bow down before it, they'll kiss it. It was, a, it was an article came out a, a, a while ago about a, a, a church in a chapel or something. They had, they had a big old uh, um, um, statue on the wall of Cesare Borgia, and they said it was water coming from, 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 from the damn the, the statue's feet. Coming from the statue's feet, and people will go up to the, to, to the statue, and they'll pray before it, they'll cry and whine, and say, oh God, oh God, he's crying, he's crying. They thought the tears, hey, hold on, brother. Well, chill out over. They think, they think the tears was actually the, the water was actually his tears, and then come to find out, people over there collecting the water, drinking it, and washing their face with it and stuff. Come to find out that water came from the damn toilet upstairs, man. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. So the most I got a sense of humor, man. Are right, you worshiping these pagan gods? They're looking at you. He looking at you like you crazy. He's like he laughing at you, man. He had people out there washing their face and drinking that damn water. Come to find that came from the toilet. A damn, a damn, a damn for, 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 for above them, man. Hey man, they're drinking toilet water, man. Nah, it's crazy because you know you got people. You got people that they, they they sit here, they worship, they do this for for this certain uh stone that was created by a man. All right, man, you sit there and worship, you know your knees, you cry over something that was created by a man. Yeah, that's the crazy part about it. God, real quick, it says the beasts are better than they. For they can get under a covet and help themselves, man. Oh, yeah. So at least you know a dog can can when it when it starts to rain, it can cover itself. These damn statues, they can't cover themselves, man, because they nothing but wood and stone, man. And you got people that worship idols, man. And you got these Jake women, Israelite women, that will set up a whole altar in their house for their witchcraft, and they got candles and uh, 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 incense burning and all this nasty ass shit going on. But hey, that, that's that stuff ain't gonna save you, man. All right? Bitch, yeah, uh, that's gonna cause you to be destroyed, man. Who uh, says that? Uh, 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 yeah, come on. Grab that. Scripture says, uh, also, we're going to call you to be destroyed because Scripture says that you should not 
suffer a, a wish to, to, to live, man. All right, so all of you gonna be destroyed, man. There's nothing going out to you, brothers, by the way. You might have you might deal with a woman or whatever. Don't let them make you know no spaghetti, man. All right? They got this thing going on where they got the women breaking spaghetti and shit, and they want you to be in love with them. So they'll put their menstrual cycle blood into the spaghetti sauce, man. You eating that shit, and it's got some type of fucking witchcraft uh, power to make you all in love with them. All right? So these women are fucking completely gone. This world is completely gone. We need the Lord, man. This place gotta be destroyed. This place is completely fucking finished, man. That's completely fucking disgusting, by the way. All right, it, 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 it's disgusting, it is unclean, it's nasty. What you got up? Here's the book of John, chapter 4, verse 22. It says, Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Okay? So these people, they don't know what they worshiping, man. They go on to celebrate Easter Sunday tomorrow, and they have no idea what they worshiping. Hey, we know what we worship, man. We worship the God of the Bible, man. That's right. Man, Abel, Shemi, Abel, Shai, that's who we worship, man. All right? These people have no idea what they worshiping, man. They believe in lies, man. Go ahead. And this is the book of Hosea chapter 10, verse 13. It says, Ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity. Ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because thou didst trust in thy way, in the multitude of thy mighty men. Yep. So these people, they trust in the ways of America, man. They don't trust the Bible, man. The Bible is not uh, 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 praised anymore, man. Con. It's frowned upon. It's looked down upon. So guess what? All you people are going to have to learn the hard way. That's the right. Lord, the Lord is going to have to judge you and take you out of your misery. Because that's all these people are. They're miserable. miserable as hell. These people are miserable as hell. And they're trying to find any out to have a good time, have hey. fun. And what they say, misery loves company, man. Yep. Con. So what they want? They, they look at you, look at you crazy. Why? How come you don't want to celebrate this? How come you don't want to do this? You want to do that? So they want you to be you join them in that misery, man. Are right, we came into this truth, man? This right here brought us life, man. This right here brought us the true understanding. It answered our questions, man. We don't want us to be out here lost and confused, like trying to figure out what the fuck going on, man. This truth bring you the understanding, bring you the, 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 bring you the, 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 the wisdom and knowledge to be able to uh, maneuver in this fucking wicked ass world, man. But everybody else, they they they, they just out here doing shit off of instinct, man. All right. Go ahead, brother. This is Sirach 19, verse 22. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. Yeah, and you got these guys that, you know, they believe in science or they believe in the Big Bang Theory. That's not true wisdom, man. That takes no faith at all, man. You believe in uh, 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 A squared plus B squared equals C squared and all this nonsense, which is just confusion. But we're just telling you it's simple that God created the heavens and the earth. And if you don't, if you can't grasp that and understand that, then you don't have true wisdom, man. The, the, the Lord ain't dealing with you. Right. Read that again. A lot, a lot of these Edomites, they, they don't believe in the Most High God. Yeah. So you tell them that that, that 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 shit don't that shit don't sit right with them, man. What? 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 No, no, no. Because they, they first of all they know that the Most High God hates them. If if he, if he didn't hate them, he would have made them who they is, man. All right. Even the sun hate, uh, hates them. So they, they're trying to find a way around. <laughs> What, what makes the most sense? Yeah, they, most I got hate you. What they're trying to do, really, is these elites, they, they know that uh, uh, God is a real thing. But what they try to do is they try to X out God. They try to completely X out the uh, higher power, and they sit themselves in the seat of the most high. Like, they are the, they are the, the God. All right? Hey, what this image right here, just like this, what the image right here. All right, this was Pope Alexander VI, I believe it was. His son, uh, uh, Caesar Borgia, you know, they set him up to be like the son of the Most High, which would make uh, uh, the Pope Alexander like he is God. All right? And that this is this was his son. All right, so this place is wicked, man. God, man, and if I may add, you know, Esau, Esau has that God, God, uh, God complex mindset. All right? He tried to exalt himself as a, as our, 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 our Lord, man. He tried to, you know, in a way, man, all right? Because the way Esau mindset is, he thinks, all right, if I exile this and exile that, then I'll be over everything, man. And that, that's not how it work, man. All right? That's just not how it work. The Lord is in control, man. All right? The, the, the deceiver and the deceivers are his, man. That's right. Read that again. This is Rock 19, verse 22. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. There is a wickedness and the same in abomination and there is a full wanting in wisdom and that's what these people do man 
Hey, the, 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 the uh, wisdom of this world is foolishness, man. You wasting your time if you're trying to get a college degree and all that. Hey, all that is just going to set you in debt. You ain't going to be able to get a job. And you still don't even know the truth. You still be at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't even know the truth, man. All right? And that's, that's what's wrong with Jake, man. They believe in lies, man. These people love hearing lies. But when the truth come out, they running. They getting away from it. All right? Is that it on that? Um, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 115, verse 1. Not unto us, O Yahweh, not unto us, but unto, the, uh, unto thy name give glory, for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is, where is now their power? But our power is in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. Yep. Their idols are silver and gold. Yep, their idols are silver and gold. So really these uh, bastards, which, which what they are, which that word bastard just means someone that ain't got no father. Are, are, are no uh, a heavenly father. We have a heavenly father. Right. These other nations, they don't have a heavenly father. They have. That's why they have to make idols. Yep. That's why they make wood and stone and crosses because they don't have a god. So they make their own gods and they worship it like it is a god. But as soon as the wind blows, that bitch get knocked over. <laughs> and the Lord up there laughing at him. Hey, it was a video of a guy. He had a big old. A big, I, I can't believe. I can't remember if it was, if it was fucking. Uh, 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 it was Jesus. Uh, the Virgin Mary it was or Jesus. Uh, yeah, how, uh, damn. Jesus, 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 Jesus on his back. He was on the bike. He ran oh, yeah, on the yeah. bike. Yeah. He happened to look at the side. He ran into a car. And that man went through. <laughs> she flew right over his head, man. Or there's a one, one, one video of, 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 of a great big one. They yeah, trying to like that. move it or something, and that shit fell over and crashed and crumbled, man, in front of all these people. Okay, so these false guys people worshiping is all for not, man. It's all to all ultimately add fuel to the fire. Yeah, vain glory, man. It's vain. All right, you, you're worshiping a stone, man. Yep. Hey, we're going to worship the God who created everything. All right, including that stone that you worship it. All right? Go, go ahead. The idols are silver and gold, the works, of, uh, the works of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. <laughs> so you got you got a craftsman that'll put a mouth on the little Caesar board here, but they they'll can't carve speak. A mouth in it. They'll carve a little mouth. But they, these idols can't speak, man. Go ahead. Eyes. Have they, but they see not. They don't exactly. Go ahead. They have ears, but they hear not. Right. Noses have they, but they <laughs> smell not. Right. Mm. They have hands, but they handle not. That's right. right. Feet have they, but they walk not. So the Lord is, is letting you know, like these are idols, man. You, you, you're stupid. <laughs> the Lord uh, called His children, saw His children, because you worshiping a piece of wood and stone. I got that. All right, go ahead. Neither speak they through their throat. Right. They make them or. And you got people that will sit in front of the, uh, a fake statue for hours and just worship this statue and this thing ain't saying nothing to them. Oh. And out of nowhere, they'll, they'll be like, oh, what'd you say? You said something? <laughs> like, like, it's like they said something. <laughs> These people are crazy lunatics, man. Oh. All right, go ahead. Hey, what, 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 what Biden called them religious fanatics. Yeah, hey, to the point where they start talking to themselves, man. They'll be in front of this statue and, and have a conversation with himself. Weird as hell. These people are weird. And it really is because the Lord is putting spirits on them for doing that, man. Hey, or you got these fucking Muslim guys that are like, Allah Akbar! <laughs> because they go into a building and really blow them damn selves up over a false god. Yeah. Over a false... You were, you, like, this, this false god can persuade you to go into a building, drop a bomb to yourself, and blow yourself up. <laughs> Before you go, you say, Allah Akbar! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> like that, you got that's then, a serious and, fucking demon, and man. And then you yeah. meet your house. Yeah, then you meet the true and lord. Then you meet the true lord, and you like, huh? Allah Akbar? <laughs> nah, man. Nah, man. He gonna say nah. It's your house. And in yeah. reality, the Lord is when that killed them, man. Yeah. He put a spirit on them to go out there and and and, and, and it's time a bomb to their damn chest, man. It make no sense. Yeah, this, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hell, man. I ain't going to that either. We still finish. Go ahead, brother. Finish it up. They that they that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusts in them. Right, they that make them are like unto them, man. It's soulless, dumb. man. Dumb. Dumb, stupid, sottish. Alright? And, and that's these people, man. Useless. They work, they work for real. Useless. Can't help themselves. Get blown over, can't help themselves, man. That's the that's these people, man. And you people that worship the, these wooden stones, man, you're not right in the head. Yeah.
You are a lunatic. You There's something wrong with you. Up, you got some screws loose for real. The elevator don't go all the way to the top. Uh, go over here. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 9. It says, They that make a graven image are all of, bit, uh, of them vanity. Vanity means pointless, man. Uh, all right, they're, they're, it's, it's completely pointless. Okay. And their delect the delectable things shall profit nothing. All right, man. Oh, if you look at the things they worship, man, you know, it, it, it's gold, it's all this other type of material, man, but it profits them nothing, man. All right? It's not going to give them salvation, man. That's not going to deliver them out of the hell that's to come. It profits them nothing. It says, and they are of their own witnesses. They see not, nor know, that they may be ashamed. <laughs> I who, see that person. Who has formed a god and molten a graven image that is profitable for, profitable for nothing? Uh, profitable for nothing, man. How, how can you form a god? Okay, you, you, it's not. It is. It's, it's not. It, it is just a, a, it's a false god, man. All right. And there's a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different variations of false gods, man. All right. Go ahead. It says, behold. All his fellows shall be ashamed, and the workmen, they are of men. Let them all be gathered together, let them stand up, yet they shall fear, and they shall be ashamed together. The smith with the tongues, with the, uh, yeah, with the tongues, both worketh in the cause, and fashioneth it with hammers, and worketh it with the strength of arms, of his arms. Yeah, he is hungry, and his strength faileth. He drinketh no water and is faint. Uh, so, Real quick, hold on. Come over here. Bring this out, brother. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 7. It says, Their land also is full of silver. Right, slow it down and read it nice and loud, brother. Uh, it says, Their land also is full of silver and gold. Neither is there any end of their treasure. Yeah. Which is, uh, 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 seriously, right now, that's talking about America, man. This land is full of silver and gold. You got people that wear gold uh, 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 crosses, which that's wicked in itself. Yep. You're glorifying the death of our Lord. All right, with gold and silver, go ahead. It hey, says, you, uh, you got this guy, uh, um, um, Lil Nas X, who come out, come out to be here. He's a known fucking Satan worshiper. He he he, he wears little earring with, with, the, with, with the cross, man. Yep. All right, going to show you that that right there is a blasphemy. It's a blasphemy of our Lord, man. If your mother got killed with a hammer, if your mother got got killed with a hammer. All right, you ain't gonna walk around with, 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 with a damn hammer charm on your necklace, man. Nah, uh, hey, this sister just asked if we're Israelites. And the thing is, is you, you are Israelite too. I know. Both of you, both of y'all, y'all are Israelites. Y'all both Israelites. We the chosen people. We waking up now. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's about to return. America's about to be destroyed. And anybody that's not on the right side of it is gonna be destroyed with it. That's right. That's our message. Our message is to warn the people. And people thinking that, oh, 2021 is gonna get better. It's going to be better this year. We're coming back. America, no, nah, this place is going down the drain. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's going to go down the drain faster than ever. Right. It's going to be one. Yeah, they still got a devil in office. Right. You already know who the devil is, man. The devil is a so called white man. My, my nationality, I'm what they call Puerto Rican. Okay. All right, so I would come from the tribe of Ephraim. All right, hey, we the same people. We had two different boat stops. That's yep, it. Yep. We, we just came on different boats. So this is all the 12 tribes right here. The, the, the Who they call the Negroes, the Latinos, and Native Americans. Turn around. We, are the, we are the true children of Israel, all right? right. So you got, you got this devil right here. You got this devil right here, who is Theodore Roosevelt, one of the presidents. And you see the Israelites. You see a Native American, and you see a, a so-called Negro in captivity. All right, so, and we're still in this position today. Yep. They sit on the horses. When they stroll the hood with, with, with the cars and shit, and we at the bottom in chains. Yep, yep. Right now, we don't got chains on us physically, but they got it on our minds. That's right. Right? They, they got us thinking that Jesus they is a white man. My mind. What happened? Yeah. They, they happen to all of us, though. That's, part, that's hey, part of this thing. And that's why when you find out you're a words of life, you got to start walking in the way the Lord told us to walk in. Yeah. Yeah, but lost that you're commanded to live by. You know what I'm saying? They're supposed to have a girl's face. They're supposed to be in modest apparel. They're supposed to be, you know, hair covered. That's what the Lord was commanded to be. And by us coming back to that, now rather than later, that's how we can be saved the body of this fire. Because according to the Bible, America is prophesied to be destroyed by thunder and nuclear missiles. No matter what, how we feel about it, what we think about it, this is going to happen. Right. And we'll, the whole point of, of knowing Hebrews is to not be in this fire right now. Are you going to take the pandemic shot? Absolutely not.
because hey, first of all, the scriptures tell us we're not supposed to make any cuts into our flesh. We ain't supposed to be getting tattoos. We ain't supposed to be injecting stuff into our body. We're supposed to trust in the Lord. The Lord says He's the one that heals and He's the one that kills. You know what I'm saying? It's not no this whole. Not and it's, it's, going on right right, now. It's, that's, something, that's something that they made up to control people. Yeah, and really what they're doing is they want to exterminate us. Yeah. We, we, and we can't even say the word, the B word. We yeah, can't even yeah, say it. Yeah. As soon as we say that word, they take our video down. I'm, I'm glad you said it the way you said it. Right, right. And, and thank you for that. Yeah, but they, the thing is, video down. this is all propaganda to destroy us. No. You know the saying, history repeats itself. What did they do in 1619? The transatlantic slave trade. They came over here, they raped, they robbed, they murdered, they destroyed. They about to do that all over again. Yep. But now they crafty with it. They gonna say, hey look, we wanna help you. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we want the best for you. Just take this thing. Take, yep. take the thing, take take the medicine. But really, it's gonna destroy you. Yep. You can't be deceived anymore. You gotta wake up. The truth is out here for a reason, because the Lord's about to return. And like, you asked you ask the question, are we gonna take the thing? Well, the thing is, all these brothers up here, we believe in the Bible. 100%. Not not 99%, 100%. It's a King James Version Bible. That's the name of the Lord right there. This is ancient Hebrew. Ancient Paleo Hebrew. Which the name of the Lord is Yahweh. It's not God. It's not Jesus. The Lord's name. This, this right here is the, uh, uh, the Messiah's name, which is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Jehovah, there was no J in uh, ancient yeah. Hebrew. So the Lord's name is actually Yahweh. Yahweh. That's the Lord's name. That's who you pray to. All right, and when you come into the truth, y'all know the truth. Y'all know that y'all is your life. This is the first step. Now y'all got to start praying to the true God. Right. Don't pray to Jesus it's no more. Name. Don't pray to uh, uh, Allah and, and Buddha. No, you pray to Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Come Who got that? The uh, true worshipers. Someone grab that. Yeah, somebody grab that. John 4, 22. John 4, 22. All right, well, you we're going No. That's your brother? I'm the younger brother. David, I got that right here. Go ahead, brother. This is uh Preach. It's a book of John, chapter 4, verse 23. Speak a lot, brother. It's a book of John, chapter 4, verse 23. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. So the Lord said the time come with a true hour. Where the true worshippers gonna worship the most time truth and spirit. That's the way to walk. Hey, you can't work worshiping this guy. You go, y'all. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask y'all a question though. Are y'all gonna celebrate Easter tomorrow? Hell no. Okay, it's all praise. Birthday. All praise, all praise. praise. You ain't gonna celebrate your birthday either though. Yeah, yeah. There was a pagan holiday. There was a Eastern god. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, we were born one of them. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we got two good parts. Alright, y'all have a good night. That's good. Hey, y'all keep studying, man. Y'all got something. So, all praises. Jake waking up. Jake waking up. So you can tell the uh, Wonder Woman had a little bit of a, a masculine spirit on her, but she said that her uh, one of her brothers or someone was teaching her the truth, man. So they know that there was Israelite, which just goes to show the truth is out, man. So we give all praise to see how about Shimmy on shot for that, man. Come, At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, Jake started to wake up, man. I, I, I remember when I first came into this truth, it was rare to find another Jake in there who knew they was Israelite, man. It, it was a rare to see another Jake with what their damn friend is on, man. So now you starting to see Jake starting to wake up, Jake starting to understand. She, and they asking us questions, man. She had say, hey, y'all Hebrew Israelites? And they starting to, to pick up some stuff, man, because the Lord is, what, he is calling his his, his people, man. All right? Or he is choosing, or, or um, what is it? Not, um, not, uh, many be called, but few are chosen. So he, the Lord is calling out to his people, you might ask somebody your family, it might be your brother, your cousin, your uncle, your, your, whoever, you, your dad. He gonna start researching this truth, and he gonna bring it to his family, man. All right, so you got, you got Jake that really know that they, they know what's going on. You go to the hood, Jake about going to the hood. You go to the hood, a lot of them just out there in the hood. They fucking know what's up, man. And they gonna try to tell, they gonna try to teach you as they are, as they out there got them selling a damn crack pies, bean pies and shit. You know? They'll try, they try to teach he, 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 you all, all, all the time, man. Watch out for those people, man. The, the ones who, who know what's up. Hey, they, they, they gotta they gotta make change in their life, man. Right. All right. Why? Well, so they say, "Y'all gonna Easter tomorrow?" I wish they would have said, "Yeah." I wish they would have said, "Yeah," man. <laughs> but we in a time where I've been waking up, and it's a great thing, man. Because that shows that the brothers coming out here on these streets every weekend, coming out pushing this word week in week out, is is it, it, doing it's doing this thing, man. So, and, and, even, and, even though they might have not been hundred percent on this side, 
when, when, when the brother asked, uh, are you going to celebrate Easter? They said no, which shows us a, a sign of repentance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and they, 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 they've repented from doing that, which is good. We glory at that. All right, it's a beautiful thing to see our people slowly start to wake up. Yeah, now, yeah. whether they be the elect or not, hey, that's not me to say. As of right now, they need a little bit more work to do, but... Hey, who am I to say? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they, 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 they probably just find out they were the Israelites. They, they, it's like it was so. Yeah, it, Israelites. It was kind of happy about it. And you really come home to the, the to this truth and, and, and what it's really about. It, it, it gets bitter, man. It gets bitter. And the, and the fact that the, 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 the more masculine woman, she had, she, you know, what I'm saying, you said she had, she had like a little masculine demon on her. That hasn't been put away because she probably probably just found out the Israelites. They excited about, it, but she don't, she certainly still know yet. She supposed to put on them. Modest apparel and, 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 and dress like, like a woman. You know what I'm saying? And Lord, when they come, they, they come into that, man. All, all, hey, listen, man. We are here to hope and pray that Israel wakes up, man. That Jake come out of darkness, all right? And that if they don't, they're going to have to be destroyed, man. But we got, we, we, we ultimately that mouthpiece for the Lord to wake Israel up. Tell them to come out here, come out of this darkness, come, come out of this, you know what I'm saying? Wickedness. Pan the camera. Shit like that. I got, I got, I got to get done away with, man. man. <laughs> I gotta get done away with, man. So the Lord is, is what kind of people love. That's a beautiful thing, man. Because at all the wickedness we see on, on this damn boardwalk, it's a beautiful thing to see one or two jacks that know the Israelites, man. Oh, hey, man. That's, that's, that's how you. That's how you know. You know this truth is flourishing throughout this earth, man. Hey, man. All right. You got brothers in different states. You know what I'm saying? Different cities. Bringing this out, man. Through the spirit, probably up your mouth shot, man. And that's what we set up to do, man. All right. Bring this truth out. Bring it forth, man. All right. Hey man, that's how you know this is the truth, man. All right, that's how you know this is the truth because the scripture says that this gospel shall spread around the four corners of the earth, man. Right. All right, this this right here started from a small school, man. All this started from a small school and it built around the whole earth, man. You know, people coming up to you and they say, "Hey, are you the Hebrew? Are y'all the Hebrew Israelites?" You know, you got you got people, you got Jake coming out of nowhere, man, knowing about this truth, man. All right, and it all started from a small school, man. Uh -huh. hey, hey man, I just watched the video with um. The elder, uh, I think it was Manatazak, uh, he was doing, he was uh, uh, G GMS South Carolina. He was out there, he was doing camp, man. And, and one lady, I don't think, she, I don't really think she was an uh, Israelite. And I think she was another nation. But she came up to him, to them, and he, they, she was like, y'all the Hebrew Israelites, man. That just shows you, man. This is spread around the whole earth, man. Not just to our nation, but other nations as well. Yeah, you, you, you had the, the cop come up last week, and then the first thing that cop said was, we the real Hebrews of life. Uh. We the real Hebrews of life. So Jacob's waking up, man. All right, which is a beautiful thing. The Lord, the, the, the Lord, the scripture says that the, the, the angels rejoice when one sinner repented, man. You got angels in heaven now rejoicing, man. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? They, they, they turn it up because what? Jacob's starting to come out of darkness, man. And that's what we also, we also want all Israel to come out of darkness and, and come into this marvelous light. But we understand that's not how the story go. So how, how, what, is, what the story going to go is that our people are, are are going to be, you know what I'm saying? Most are going to be destroyed, and then and then they're going to wake up again. What do you say, Hashem? You know what I'm saying? So we come into a time where Israel is starting to wake up, and come out of this darkness, man. Turn this thing around, and I, oh no, this grand. And as as this happens, our people are going to go start with them chains and start falling off for us, man. She says, "What well, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free." That's because what you 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 want me free from this mental bondage, man. Uh, Jake go broke every single Christmas, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Christmas come around, Jake go broke and can't pay bills the next month because they celebrating a pagan holiday, man. A, a, a pagan custom. All right. Every time December come around, Jake going broke. What happened? You are in bondage, man. All right. Somebody grab me that um in Deuteronomy twenty eight um chains. You know what I'm saying? Because we well, coming to a time where hey, hold this sign up right here too. This is what this was when we was in literal chains. We, we was literally getting our backs. We was literally getting, get, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, tied to a damn tree, man. Or uh, like a dog. You know, you know they had human zoos. For, 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 wait, wait, wait. Us in them. People don't like them. They the ones that did it to us. And it's a human zoo, man. All right. So, so when, when, when y'all when y'all got, got that scripture, going into pretty much, you know, and, hey, look, when we got brought over to America. We, we had chains on us, man. We, 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 we was brought here in captivity. We didn't come here on a cruise ship on, on a damn private jet. We came here in captivity to be slaves, and nothing has changed. America sees us as, 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 as the same, slaves, niggas. To this day, and according to their law, the so-called Black Hispanic Native Indian men are three fifths of, are three fifths of a man. So they don't, they don't even consider you a, a, a whole person, man. They consider you just an animal. That's why they can slay you in the streets and get away with it. All right, what you got? It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. 
verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall sin against thee, uh -huh. in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. Oh, that's up too. So he says, Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send, 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 send over us. The Lord is the one that sent these, these damn Edomites to be the rule over us, man. Because we was being disobedient, we was being hard hit, we was worshiping false gods, we were worshiping this guy. So what happened? The Lord said, okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to send this guy to work through the rule over you. All right, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll bring that back. Hold on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee. So he said, we're going to serve our enemies. So now, nowadays, if you, if you, if you, if you want to, you know what I'm saying, you, you, if you got a job, you serve your enemy, man. Nine times out of ten, your boss is, is an Edomite, a so-called white person, man. And you want anything, man. The scripture says, "Want of all things." Want of all things. You want, want a license. Things. You want. You want a job. You want a birth certificate. All that stuff. You got to get it from your enemy, man. Go ahead. Come on. In hunger Hold and on. in thirst and in nakedness and Hold and in want of all things. Hunger and thirst, man. You go to the grocery store. You get food. You got to get it from your enemy, man. We don't own Publix. We don't own Walmart. All right. And it said in hunger and in thirst, when you go buy food and water, hey, you gotta get it from your enemy right now, man. And really, we're supposed to own everything. The Lord said that anywhere we step our foot, that's our land. That's right. But right now, we're in captivity, man. We at the bottom of the bottom, man. Right. And you know what's wrong with Jake is Jake is comfortable here in captivity. They're happy with a nine to five job now. Hey, brothers up here, we don't settle for less, man. We want the whole, we want the whole loaf, man. We don't want no crumbs, man. Right. We want the whole loaf, man. That's right. Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Right, and that's what they did. They put them chains around our neck, man. And our feet and our hands. And now what they do is they, they took the chains off our neck and our hands and they put it on your mind, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, you thinking you black. You think you African American. You think you Puerto Rican. You think you Dominican. That's not who you are. That's right. And that's what the white man told you you was when you got off them ships. They, and they said you're not gonna they even knew when we got off them ships we had Hebrew names man and they said look you're not gonna be called that no more you're gonna be called African American alright which Toby. really well, yeah Toby right it was, it, was, it was giving you names man and, yep. it, and it was sending us as gifts so at that time that that's happened it's still a pun right now all people are still they still want to be called African American Black Latino Hispanic which means probably a Spain Black is a color in the crown box our people are still destroyed to this day, but nowadays, what happens when you, when you got a dog? You, you got that, you might say you got to put a, a damn pit bull and you put him on a leash and tie him to a tree. He gonna, every time you see somebody pass by that house, he's gonna run and chase him until, that, until, until he get yurked by, by that chain. That, cha that, 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 that chain gonna yurk him. Eventually, they're gonna, they're gonna be able to take that chain off of him. And no matter what, what happens, he's gonna, he gonna run and chase whatever he come out of that yard. But when he gets to that point where he feel like that chain about to yurk, he gonna stop. So he's gonna be trained to be an obedient, sa obedient slave, man. That's why it did tell us because what? Now, our people are obedient slaves. Not, not a, hey, we, 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 back in the slavery, we wanted to leave America. If we got a chance to escape, we were trying to get the hell out of America, man. Go down to Mexico or go down to, go to, go to, go to Canada or whatever. Get the hell out of America. Nowadays, Jake is happy to be in America. They, they want to stay here, man. All right, that, 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 that's that, that, that yoke of iron that's been taken off, but it's still on our minds, on our inward parts, man. Jake's minds are completely gone. Their minds are completely fried, man. They, 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 they have no drive to want to get out of America. Now, now they're happy to be American. Oh, Proud to be an American. <laughs> All right, and Esau put out about what? Witchcraft, man. To make you want to worship and love your, your, your slavery, man. Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm okay. Syndrome, right. That's Stockholm Syndrome, man. Where, where all of a sudden now you love your oppressor. You 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 you, you, love, you, love, you love this captivity he got you in. He got, he got Jake and when we went into the Passover uh, last week. How it was, when Jake was in Egypt, they, when, it, when the Lord delivered us out of Egypt, Jake was saying how they wanted to go back to Egypt, man. Yeah. At least we would be able to eat. We had a house. We was this, we was down there. Jake loves cap captivity, man. All right, as long as they take care of them, they can eat and they can drink and, and have, have a roof over their head, they happy with being a, a damn captive, man. Yeah. And, uh, and the sad part is, the majority of our people don't want to get out of America. Yeah. They don't want to get out of here, man. They happy here. They love it here. So what? You tell them, oh, you, oh, oh, it's time to get out. What? They, 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 they bring up a smoke, man. They don't want to get out of America. They don't want to get out of Babylon. Man, they happy here. They love it here in Babylon, which is why the Lord said that two thirds people gonna have to be destroyed, man. Two thirds gonna have to go. Turn the sign around, brother. Come on, now. Uh, work with me. He hey, said that they're gonna have to be gonna be destroyed, man. Yeah. All right. The majority of our people, the majority of so-called Negro, Spanish, Native Indians, they're too far gone. Yeah, they in that sunken place, man. Like that movie Get Out. 
It ain't in that sunken place, man. They, they happy slaves, man. Happy slaves, man. Hey, you had a Jake uh, uh, Elder Tahar post a video we had saw it a while ago of uh, this uh, a church nigga singing a, a church song because Biden got an office, man. Biden got an office and he was singing his heart out talking about, we free now, we free. What are you free from? You still got to pay bills. You still got to social security. You still go out. You ain't free, man. But that's, that's what's wrong with Jake, man. They got that Stockholm syndrome, man. Hey, uh, scriptures talk about is uh, Judah and Israelite are is Judah and Israel a homeborn slave? I got it. Yeah. This is Jeremiah chapter two verse fourteen. Is Israel a servant? Mm. Is he a homeborn slave? Mm. Why is he spoiled? The the young lions roar upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. His cities were burned without inhabitant. Also, the children of Noph, uh, uh, the children of Noph, um, and uh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so Israel is a homeborn slave, man. What, meaning these people have become happy slaves, man. That's all they know is slavery now, man. Yeah. How to be a slave? How we were comfortable in the slavery. We, we, we've been into seven captivity. So Lord, he was asking, like, Lord, is, is Israel, are, are we just made to be slaves? Are, are, are we meant to be slaves? Right. Right. No, people kept going off, man. They kept going off. And this is right here. We are in our seventh captivity, man. All right, this is our seventh captivity, and the Lord's about to deliver us up out of here. But before that happens, the majority of people gonna have to go, man. The majority of people gonna have to be destroyed. That's why Esau come down with great wrath to destroy the majority of these Israelites, man. The majority, just, they don't want, like we said, they don't want to get right. They don't, they don't want to, uh, you know what I'm saying, serve, serve our Lord in truth and sincerity. The Lord said what? Them that will not that will, that will not serve me, bring them hither and slay them before me. So there's gonna come a time we're gonna be literally gathering these damn niggas up and taking them before the Lord and slaying them before the Lord. Okay. okay. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, verse fifty-seven. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us. Uh -huh. so these heathen. Right, that's what they are. They're heathen. Anybody that's not on this chart right here, if, you, if you're not a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native Indian, you are a heathen, man. The Most High God hates you. He 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 has, he, 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 he has no, no 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 fucking good useful for you besides serving us. Are right, you were made to serve us, man. Bring that back. And now, O oh Lord, behold these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have been uh, have begun to be lords over us. He said they have ever been reputed as nothing. So the whole world knows that these heathens is nothing. And at one point in time, they knew it too. But they didn't got puffed up by, 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 by these lies and these blasphemies, starting with this right here. And they think, they think that they're, they're the most high God's chosen people. They think that 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 they're the righteous ones. When really they're the fucking wicked, man. Con. All right. And what they have became lords over us, man. Look at right here. This guy is it's showing you that he's a lord over us, man. I have seen uh, princes uh, walking upon the ground and servants of, upon horses, man. That they have become lords over us now. Man. Now, now when you go to work, you go to the store, you got to say yes, ma'am, and no, sir, to, to these damn devils, man. All right. To these damn devils, man. Because what they have became lords over us. They have became uh, uh, um, our slave masters, man. But all that's about to change. And and, and the table's gonna turn, and then we're we gonna be their slave masters, man. Go ahead. And to devour us. Well, to the, they want to devour us, man. Just ask the question, say, are, are, you, are you gonna take that thing? Hell no. Nah. Why? Because they, they're trying to devour us. They want, they want to destroy us, man. That's right. And see, you, you, people out here falling out on live TV for taking that damn shit. You think, you think I'm gonna take it? Hell no, nah, man. Then they turn, then they gotta tell Jake flat out, we want the blacks, Hispanics, and the to come, 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 come get it. They going door to door in the hood. They ain't going door to door in the damn suburbs. They going door to door in the hood telling you to take that thing, man. They want to devour us. They want to destroy us. Go ahead. Verse 58. Well, for we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy, thy firstborn, uh -huh. thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, mm -hmm. are given into their hands. We, we have been given into their hands, man. That's why they were able to do this right here to us, because the Lord allowed them to do this to us, because we, we were just obeying him, man. We were just obeying our Lord. We, we, was, we was being wicked, rebellious, all right, niggas. So what happened? The Lord allowed us to, 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 to this, this to happen to us, man. But now that we come back into this marvelous light, this is not, this, this is going to stop, man. And the tables are going to turn. It's going to happen to these, to, to these, to these Edomites now, man. To these heathen nations. Go ahead. Verse 59, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? Because ultimately, bro, this whole world was created for us, man. 
This whole world was created for us. The scripture says, you go to the scripture, it says that wherever we, we, wherever we lay our foot at, that land is ours, man. All right, uh, this whole world was created, was created for us, man. Yeah. But now what? We are subject to what? The ghettos? You subject to your fucking house, your neighborhood. You, you, you can't leave the city. And Esau out here got passports. He traveling the whole world and getting to see here and there and all over the place, man. They've been given the fatness of the earth, man. All right. Hold on. Okay. How long shall this endure? How long shall this endure? This question we all should be asking. How long are we going to be at this lowest state? How long are we going to be at the bottom? How long are we going to be niggas and spicks? How long are we going to be, you know what I'm saying? Damn, uh, 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 damn, damn, damn catching fetchers, man. All right. Slaves still, man. How long? How long are we going to be at the bottom? And, and you know what's crazy? Jake ain't asking himself that question, man. When I, before I came into this truth, the main question, the first question I had was why do we go into slavery? How the hell do all people on earth, the best people on earth, had to go into in the hardcore bondage, man? It, ain't, it don't make no sense. Why this happened to us? And when you find out, it's because what? We disobeyed our Lord, man. Go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, uh. That's in all that. That's all that. That. Hold on. What look at that? Uh, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day in our captivity, man. So to this day in America, we are still in captivity. We are still slaves, man. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, I ain't a slave. Not me, not me. Well, guess what, nigga? You got to work every single day. And if you don't work, guess what? You don't eat. You don't, you, don't, you, you don't have a car. You don't have a house. You don't have nothing. When we was literally in, in, on plantations, the master gave us everything. All right, we had to work 24/7 all day fucking long, and then what? He he, he would give us food, water, clothes, and a plate and, and a damn shack in the in, in the back. We had a shack, man. All right, guess what? Now you got food, water, clothes, and a fucking shack, man. They are they are compared to our houses, our shacks. All right, go ahead. Where thou has scattered us? For a reproach and a curse, and to be subjected, to be subject to payment. That's right. So he said, "Where well, that has scattered us, because Israel has been scattered all over the earth, all over the world. Jacob's been scattered, man. We've been scattered all over the earth, all over, all over the world. All right, and we've been subject unto payments, man. Yeah. All right. All people, all people have, all, all, hey, man. Everything you want is what you got to pay for. It. Ain't nothing free now. But even the water. You, you want some water? You, are you thirsty? You got to pay for it." Water that fuck. If you, if you, if some states, if you get caught collecting rainwater, they will fucking find you if not jail you, man. So everything you want, you want on this world, you gotta pay for it, man. So then, what? Well, we, we, we still in slavery. And how, 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 how do you pay for stuff? You gotta work. And Jake don't get down. Jake don't necessarily get those uh, nice fucking, you know, uh, decent jobs, man. We, 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 we doing like we, we, we doing damn labor jobs, man. You you working at McDonald's and damn checkers or whatever the fuck, man. You 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 out there doing construction or landscaping or whatever the hell. All right, hardcore labor, man. Go ahead. And to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers. Uh-huh. So which, we, we were subjecting the payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, man. Because of what our fathers did, because of our fathers trespassed against the Lord, worship before God. We we have to pay for that to this day. And guess what? We were our forefathers, man. All right. We were our forefathers. So that's why it's just. Go ahead. Which departed from the Lord, you have Ashmashai, our power. That's on that. Come, which departed from my Lord, um, you have Ashmashai, our power. Re read it right here for me. Because, hey, uh, our, our forefathers, which, like I said, which were us, we departed from our Lord, man. We started getting, you know what I'm saying? And, and even when we was doing good, we departed from our Lord. Start worshiping false gods, being demons, man. So the Lord had to bring judgment upon us. All right? But guess what? The time of our judgment is almost up. And now it's going to be time for the judgment of the nations that did this to us, man. Go ahead. This is Haggai 1 and 5. It says, Now therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. Ye have sown much, and bring in little. Uh -huh. Ye eat, but ye... He said, ye have sown much, but bring in little. So you can go out, you can work all fucking week, man. You can go and work all fucking week, all day from, 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 from dust to dawn, from can't see to can't see. And you still gonna, gonna bring in little, man. You still got bills. You still you still broke. All right. He saw give you just just enough to take care of yourself to where you you when that's all spent up. You got to go back to work, man. Uh -huh. All right. And, and, and you don't ever get a break here, man. He give you just enough, just enough to survive, and and, and you got to keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working. 
Go hey, ahead. Man. Hey man, we, we built up this whole, we built up, we saw a whole kingdom, man. And look where we at now, man. We breaking nothing, man. Yeah, still in the ghettos. Come on. It says, but ye have not, it says ye eat, but ye have not enough. Uh -huh. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Uh -huh. Ye clothe you, ye clothe you, but there is none more. Uh -huh. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Yeah, all, all the money you get, it's, it, 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 what they say, it's like it's burning your hand. You gotta spend it, man, because you gotta build to pay, man. All right, they get they give you these damn uh, stimulus checks. You know why? Because they know you're gonna you're gonna put it right 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 back, and it's it's, it's, it's called a stimulus check. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna spend all that money that you're gonna give for that stimulus check and stimulate their this economy by spending it, man. So all the money you get, all the all the ways that you get, you get to, to, to put into a bag of holes, man. All right, think about your pocket. Your, your pocket's like a, like a, like a, like, a, like a bag, and you imagine you got a hole in your pocket. You gonna put all this money in your pocket, and you gonna reach for that money again, and it's gone. That's how quick. It, this shit goes, man. Show you that we in captivity. We still in bondage. How you doing, brother? You got any questions? No, I'm all praise. All praise, all praise. You see this right here? Well, what you see yourself up on this side? I've got all of that in my house. Like, oh, you already know what you know about it? Oh, you see what I'm on. All praise, all praise. Okay, okay. We're doing things in Ghana, man. Okay, okay, learn, okay. Learn the system. If y'all gonna do this, y'all gotta travel the world. Well, chap, what, 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 what scripture is that, though? That's the, one, that's the key to success. Travel the world. Yeah. What, what, what about the Bible? What about the Bible, though? The Bible is okay. That's not the key to success? It's a, yeah, it, it helps you. It, it's, it's a travel kit. Because what we do it's, it's a survival travel kit. The Lord no, commanded us. All I don't want you to do, though, is if you're going to preach it, don't cuss me. I can't cuss now? No. Oh, okay. But see, 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 the, the Lord, the Lord, what, what the Lord said. The Lord gave us, the Lord gave us. It's all right, brother. It's all right. You got to show us, bro. You got to show us, bro. It's all right, bro. Hey, the problem said the problem will rule his speech. The problem will rule his speech. All right. They got a ball head, man. They got a ball head. But talking about traveling the world. Traveling the world, man. Traveling the world. Listen, man. The Lord told us to come out here and prophesy. Go ahead and bish you to the marriage and what we do, we, we, we record the video so that it can be shared all around the world. I ain't finna go to fucking all over the world just to find out I'm still a nigga all over the world. What, what's good that gonna do to me? The Lord didn't tell us to go out, go, go, go travel all the world. That, be, be a vagabond? No, we, we supposed to be out here prophesying. We're supposed to come out here and be, be prophets and then what? The, 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 to to, to uh, publish this truth. So you gotta go out a, a camera right here to publish this truth and then it's gonna go around the whole world, man. You got, you got the unicorn for a reason, which is the internet, man. That's right. Uh, this, 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 Jake said, what, what he said, uh, he gonna uh, travel is a key to success. No, nigga, that's the key to the, 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 the seeing the most shit, but still being broke. Still gonna be broke. Jake can't even afford to travel the fucking world, man. You gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta be, you gotta be realistic and logical. I'm gonna say, hey, no, you're all right, man. Go ahead out of the block, man. Hey, man. Jake had a big ass bald head and shit. He had a beard, but he had, a, he had his hair shaved and shit. Tell you that Jake almost got it, but don't quite got it. All right. Hey man. Hold on, brother. You got it. The thing, the, the crazy part is, is that uh, all this, all this knowledge we just spilled out, everything we just said, only thing he got out of it was the cuss word. Yeah. Don't preach it, but don't curse. He said he know this, but if he knew this, he wouldn't have a shaved head right now. Yeah. He wouldn't be driving by it and just worried about damn cuss words, man. Yeah. And, That's and, just and, 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 and curse words, according to the Bible, which means to put a curse on somebody, man. Come on. Yeah, because we still we got foul. Let somebody grab me that. Foul and um um w, um 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 rude speech. Cause, cause, so, Cause we say bad words as they will call it. Cause cause, cause Jake is fucking emotionally feminine now, man. Jake 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 is uh there, there is no more men out here no more, man. It's a bunch of damn women, and then women with and then women with nuts, right? A bunch of women and then women with nuts, man. A, a, ain't, ain't no more ain't no more men out here no more. All right, and that's and that's a problem. The Most High's coming to destroy that because this right here is completely out of order, man. I posted a, a, a video, a picture the other day of a grown ass man wearing a damn Snow White uh, 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 um, costume and then a, a grown ass woman out there in the military, man. Completely backwards. You, you got that? Go ahead. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 6. It says, Be though, uh, but no, though on, I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. So the prophets of old were always rude in speech, man. Because we ain't coming here with no damn soft. Lo loving that be fucking message, man. This ain't some uh, prosperity doctrine, man. We ain't here. We ain't here to tan and stroke through the sleep. What? What? Come on, grab me that smooth words. Jake want to hear smooth words, man. Bring that back. Says, but though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. Uh huh. 
but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. So we have been made manifest thoroughly among you in all things, man. Sonia, when Jake passed by, he see us, and he, he, he said, oh, I already know, I already know, I already know. I just feel like when you say it, don't, 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 don't curse. That nigga rolled past it for two seconds and heard a curse word and was offended, man. Hey, the whole time when you go into the word curse, it just means a bad thing. The language that we're speaking right now is, uh, is a curse, man. The whole English language, man. The whole English language. So when he said, don't curse, he's literally cursing himself, man. Okay, get that so these, people are, these people are hypocrites, man. That's, that, uh, that's, that's a bastard language, man. Eng the English language is a bastard language. So it's a, so the whole language is a curse. Yep. The whole language is a curse, man. Con, and I want to address something he said real quick, how he said, oh, y'all got to travel the world. Y'all got to be a traveler, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold that this is a rebellious people, lying children, uh -huh. children that will not hear the law of your house. Hey, he didn't want to hear the law by shaving your head, though, man. Right. That's the law. We didn't put to shave our head. And, and that's what we do. We, 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 make, we make examples out of Jake, man. Because Jake come up here thinking they know some shit. The guy riding around on a fucking bike. Grown ass man riding on a bike telling me you got to travel the world. But you shaving your head, man. You don't want to hear the law of the most high God. How, how come you heard all this, but you ain't hear that part yet? It don't make no sense. Go ahead. Verse 10, which say to the seers, see not, uh -huh. and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things, Ooh. prophesy deceit. So Jake want to hear smooth things, but they want to hear it's going to be all all right. Uh, prosperity. Uh, this is your year. They want to hear, that's what they want to hear, man. They say, hey, listen, man, I like what you're saying, man. Just, just, just don't curse. A grown-ass man to another grown man not, not to say bad words. Our people are finished, man. Our people are finished. If, if, you, if, you, if you, you got that mindset where, you, where, where the, the, the worst thing about this truth is hearing the bad words instead of hearing the message that America's going to be destroyed with thermonuclear fire, you, you in for a rude awakening, man. You know what I'm talking about? You in for a rude awakening. All right? If, 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 if what shocks you the most is our foul our language rather than hearing that America's going to be destroyed with thermonuclear fire, you, you more likely going to be in that fire, man. That's right. All right? And you're going to be saying a lot of bad words in that fire. <laughs> Shit, God damn. Oh, oh, that was, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> But, 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 but we can't say it though. Come on, man. Yeah. What you got off? Uh, this is Psalm chapter 19 and verse 3. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. And that's by way of the internet now, man. Right. We don't have to go travel to Africa and travel to Puerto Rico and do all because the internet is the unicorn, man. All right? The internet can reach this video when it goes and it's published. It can be seen all over the world, man. And we ain't got to go there. Right. That saves us a lot of time of having to go get a passport and both travel from here to there. And there. That's what IUIC do, man. They travel. What they got? What they said they had to do to travel? What they said they got to get? Fucking <laughs> thing, man. Hell no, I ain't get no thing. Uncle Fulk. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. Anybody gonna jab me, stab me with nothing, man? I'm guessing that guy since he traveled, he had to get a couple of them too, man. He said he was out in Ghana. When you go to Ghana, you in Africa. You gotta get, you gotta get those damn um, malaria and everything else fucking jabs, man. So you, so you been telling me that you are coming from you, 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 you hear this, you understand this, but yet you shaving your head bald, and you out here getting jabbed up. Be, watch out for those guys. Hey, man. we asked him where, was where he was on the side. He said, "I got these in my house. I got these in my house." He ain't want to hear it though. Yeah, yeah. See, because he really didn't know, man. Yeah. He really didn't know. He, 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 that's the problem with a lot of these older Jays too. They, they like to feel like they know something. Does he hear? That's that but, 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 but they know something. All right, so what they'll do is they say, we try to tell them something that, 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 that's going to be useful for them. They might not know, but they'll pretend they know. And they say, oh, yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew that. And try to teach you how to teach you. Listen, what, what I said in the beginning of class, they try to teach us some shit. Yeah, that's what's wrong with old head jakes, man. He look like an older, older jake. You don't like hearing it from younger men. Yep. All right, they, they, they think that age equals wisdom, yep. which in a sense it, it, it does, but not if you're not following the right wisdom of the Bible. Yep. You're just following foolishness. Yep, and, 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 and our, our, our elders have failed us, man. Yeah. All right, the elders are people, the older Jake, so we saw that big ass group of niggas passing by here. They, they, them niggas was lost, man. They had dreads and bald heads and shit. Them niggas was lost. All right, they, 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 they have no idea. Yeah. Same thing with, with, that, with that nigga, man. He had no idea. And what he wanted us to do, he wanted us to get the fuck out of town. He said, listen, man, listen. What y'all saying is all sound good shit. I gotta travel, man. We're gonna travel. Get out of get, get out get out of my town, man. What do you say? He said that's the key to success. That's the key to success. success. And then, then then the brother asked, what what about the Bible? He said, oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, it's yeah, all right. yeah, 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 yeah. That too, yeah, that too, that too. A little, a little something, a little but, something. But, but, but traveling, man. Traveling. You gotta believe in the Bible, man. These guys. Hey, you, you, know, you guys, man, talk long enough. They're gonna expose themselves, man. Oh. They're gonna tell you what they're about, and it's a bunch right. of bullshit. 
Yeah. Right, let him talk a little bit. I said, what you, what you got to say? Ah, right, yeah, we good. We, we don't need him. We, need him. we are no chill out. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, it says. Bring back from uh, Psalms 19 and 3. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone through all the earth. Hey, you, you got brothers posting videos of the elders and apostles in different countries with different languages. Man, they put they putting a translation on, 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 on the elders and apostles speaking. So this word is going out, man. You got the elders and apostles. Our elders and apostles of the Great Millstone have not been to Italy and China and whatever the other pushing this word. But you get they got camps out there showing that the word is going out, man. Take all come to take take who ain't doing shit, who ain't doing a fuck thing for the Lord. Just on riding his bike down the strip, trying, all trying to come over trying to tell us what the hell, what, what, what we can do for the Lord. Uh, he didn't want to talk about the Bible. He's old enough. Oh, no, no, I travel though, brother. Uh, travel. That's right. Go ahead. It says their line has gone out through all the earth and their worlds to the end of the world, mm -hmm. and them. Hath he set a tabernacle for the sun? All right, and that's going into the different uh, satellites they got, man. When you look at uh, uh, pictures of like the internet, uh, 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 the net, it literally looks like a net that's over the whole earth, man. Yep, yep. And right now, the, the line has been been out to the whole earth by the way of the internet, man. Yep, yep. All right. Yep. You got most of the third world countries with brick phones that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a video of a guy in what? What was it? J Japan or China? And, it was and he Philistine. was Philistine. Yeah, 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 Philistine. Philistine. And he was doing doing on a lesson, and he said, Yahweh, Bahashem. You couldn't understand. No, that's what you were saying, but all you heard was Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. He was, he was speaking, speaking in, the, in his language, right, man. Right. So we 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 we, we, we ain't gotta go fucking travel to fucking uh, Australia to push his word. We do what we doing, doing right here, right now. And this video is going to go straight travel to Australia for us, man. Hey, and that's beautiful. You know, he was speaking in his language, and that shows you that the names stay have the so much power. The names are universal. They stay the yep, same. Yep, yep. So he was speaking in his language. You couldn't understand it, but now you hear it. How about Shimei al you like, see? You got a name. And, and that shit cut Nadab. Yep. Oh, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's different translations. It's a different translation. No, the, the, the Lord's name is it's going to be his name. Forever. Forever. All the time. You can't just translate his, almost translate his name so I can understand it better. Uh -huh. No, nigga, then you're not called upon the same Lord. Uh -huh. You call upon somebody else. If, 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 listen, man, if my name is John and you calling me uh, 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 Michael, I'm going to say, who the fuck is Michael? Stop calling me that. <laughs> All right? Same thing with the Lord, man. His, the name is very important. That's right. That's right. Uh, what you got? Uh, this was like up to, you know, what the brother was saying earlier about, you know, Jacob's, you know, right on his bike talking about. You know, it's that old man, true success, you know, the key of everything is, you know, the key to success or whatever, you know, Jake was going off on. This is the true success right here, man. All right, it says, this is Joshua 1 and 8. It says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Hey, the book of the law shall depart out of our mouth, man. So you should always have these scriptures in your mouth. When you come up and talk to us, man, the Lord, Lord, Lord said what? Speaking the oracles of the, of the Holy Bible, man. If you ain't speaking the oracles, and the, which means the words of the Most High out of his out of these scriptures, we don't want to hear shit you got to say. You, you, you can't give us no advice. You, you can't give us nothing. All right, because you ain't got nothing. All right, go ahead. And like what, like what you said, man, he was like, we asked him, did he, did he, you know what I'm saying, did he read the Bible or whatever? And he was like, well, yeah, yeah, you can use that. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he obviously knew that Jake didn't have it, man. And, you know, it, and it's supposed to say, it says, but thou shalt meditate there there and day and night that thou mayest observe to do to do according to all that is written therein. And the book of the law it tells you you're not supposed to be you're not, you're not supposed to bald our heads, man. That's the book that's what the book of the law says. You're not supposed to bald your head. You're not supposed to be getting damn making cutters into your flesh, which means taking damn jabs and stuff. All that shit is contrary to the holy scriptures, man. So when the, when a guy tells you some advice that's contrary to the holy scriptures, send him about his way and never talk to that guy again. You see him avoid that nigga. All right, walk on the other side of the street. Walk on the other side of the road. You have to get away from that guy. All right, he like he don't have it. What you got? And it says, wait, wait. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. It says, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. And that's the that, hey, you a precept, brother. Uh, you you lie, you never look at me. <laughs> Beautiful, you're gonna have great success, man. You're raising me prosperous if you follow these scriptures, man. Great success don't come out traveling, man. Yeah. Your ass can go travel somewhere to, to damn uh, Mexico or some shit and get kidnapped, man. <laughs> and they, they got a ransom for your head, over your head because you're so-called American, but you broke. 
All right, <laughs> that's not gonna be your success, man. And also, we don't want success in this world. Man. We, we don't want the success of this life, man. I, I, what, what success you gonna give us so we can ride around the, in a bike or big tire like he got up and down the strip? We don't want that kind of success, man. The success we want is to see America be destroyed. That's right. To get the kingdom of heaven, man. Right. We don't want the six. Uh, the, uh, uh, hey, our different ways of success are two different things, man. What he considers success, what we consider success, is two different things. That's why he on that side and we on this side. He, he can never understand, man. Uh, he, he on the, uh, what's the call? What's the, uh, the sideway or uh, byway? Yeah, yeah, he on the byway. Yeah, byway. He's ride, he riding through and shit. Yeah. He riding around talk, talk, talking to eating my babies and shit. The, the, the guy ain't right in the head, man. Yeah. You gonna have a lot of jakes like that, man. A lot of jakes that proclaim to be wise, all right, for nothing. Don't know nothing, man. I should have asked him what was the name of the Lord. That's what I should have asked him. He, 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 he's like he's trying to get up out of here. You know, the question, the question was going to come, man. He didn't want to answer no question. was going to come. He's like, I, 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 but, but, but all I'm going to tell you, all I want to tell you, is stop cursing when you see your Get the hell out of here, man. Yeah, man. This, this, this thing, this truth is not for children, man. When we upload our videos, man, this thing, this thing we ain't going to speak. We ain't, we ain't talking no damn free. free. We talking to grown ass niggas out here, man. That's why when the, when the video uploads, it asks us, is this video made for children? We put no. No. <laughs> no. Not made for children. <laughs> Always. Hey, I got my channel set up, which you brothers can do too as well. From YouTube Studio, you can uh, uh, have it to where every video you upload is automatically says uh, no to that. Yep. Because hey, at the end of the day, man, at the end of the day, man, this truth is, is, is uh, is, what it said, the word is, is, is pure and sharp in every two-edged sword, man. It, it, this truth cuts, man. All right, and honestly, it, ain't, it really ain't for fucking truth. Ain't it, it re these women really can't even get it, man. The Lord says that His voice is to the to the sons of men. He's dealing with men, all right, and you got grown ass men out here that's crying. This ain't a Christian church, man. If you want, you want, you you, you want to hear no curse words and go to the Christian church. You're not gonna find that here, man. All right. What you consider cuss words is in the Bible, man. Okay? Damn, ass, hook, they all that's in the Bible, man. So all that, all, all that kind of whining, whining bullshit, we don't want to hear it. The Lord says what? Bear thy loins as men. Swear! The truth says that the Most High is a man of war. The people don't know who the Most High is, man. If he knew who the Lord was, he wouldn't have that damn head shiny ball like that. Okay? The Lord will smack him in this shit. <laughs> Like, like, like scripture also says, he's not an author of confusion. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He, like, he's a god of his word, and he stays by it from the beginning all the way to the end, man. That's right. And that guy was coming with pure confusion, man. Huh. Pure confusion. He was. He came here listening to some uh, hip-hop music or whatever and turned it down just to say that y'all just need to stop cursing. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Go travel, man. Go go, go back to Ghana, wherever the that's fuck you came That's from. when them jakes that used to be a fucking full-blown nigga. Yeah. And then he, he slowed down and been a full blown nigga. Now he just a nigga. <laughs> he, he did something. He might be at the whole house. Yeah, he did, he did something, man. Watch out for those guys, man. Because you know, a lot of, a lot of guys like to come up, man. Especially for your younger brothers. You used to be good like that, man. You, you, you got to be able to, to discern spirits fast. See so, yeah, he came out and I said, okay, well, all right, yeah, we good, we got man, we got man, we got <laughs> Send him down the road, man. He was like, but, 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 I said, yeah, yeah, we good, we good, we good, we good. Because if you ain't talking about, if, you, if your words ain't coming out of your scriptures, man, ain't nothing you can tell us. We don't we, we don't want to talk. All right, we 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 ain't here we ain't here here, here to hear your fucking philosophy. All right, precept. Yeah. It's the book of John, chapter fourteen, verse six. The hour shall say it unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's right. All right, man. Hey, we ain't got to travel, man. The word gonna travel for us. We ain't gotta go over there to Ghana, man. Ghana ain't the way. Ghana ain't the truth, and Ghana ain't the fucking life, man. Yeah. All right, the Lord is. Check it out. And that just, hey man, that just show you, man. Jake, Jake just don't got it, man. Jake, you know, boasting, oh, you gotta go through these, you gotta go through that, brothers. Da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing that he just speaking a bunch of gibberish, man. We not hearing that. And if he had it, he would use that energy to ride that bike to be out here pushing his word, man. Yeah. You know? He riding up and down the damn strip and shit thinking he doing some shit because he, he got a bike. No, nigga, that's not it. That's not the key to success. You're not, you're not successful. You failed, nigga. If you ain't got this truth, you failed. All right, if you, if you don't understand this word, you, you are not successful. You might feel like because you got a little bit of money, but money burns, motherfucker. Money burns. And pretty soon they're going to they make, make their money a car for the microchip. They got here worse than money. They got here <laughs> worshiping the things of this world, thinking they're doing some shit. All that shit gonna pass away, man. The fashion of this world is gonna pass away, man. 
okay? And the only thing that's gonna stand is what? This truth and the promise of the Most High Yahweh Shai. That's right. Everything else is gonna pass away, man. So all that traveling and all that other bullshit, it won't tell us pretty soon. Tell, hey, hey, oh, you wanna go back to Ghana? You wanna go back to Ghana? <laughs> do, you, do you have your chip? Do you have your chip? Do you have your chip? That's what, that's what your success is leading to, nigga. You getting the RFD microchip implanted into your body, which is gonna be the end of you. Yeah, the, yeah, the most I got is a so-called black man, and all white people are going into slavery. Right. And this is the crazy part is because, you know, he's saying, Jake, you got Jake saying all this extra stuff, you know, he's talking about, he know the 12 tribes, you know all this, he got his stuff at home. That's the problem, you got it at home. That's the problem, you got it at home. Right, right, right. All right? You ain't doing what what, what, what it's set up for us to do, man. And that's coming out here and bring this truth out, man. All right, and also mean the spirit won't know you to do it, so you don't got it, man. That's right. All right, instead, you on the other side riding on your damn bike. And this is scripture for that, man. Bring this it first John, This first John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Beautiful. All right, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So clearly he does not got the love of the Father in him, man, because he's what? Enjoying his goddamn precious shit, man. He's enjoying the lust of this world, man. The, the, the love of the Father is not in him, because if it was, he would be on this side. That's right, that's right. Bring he would be in this side, man. That's right. It says, uh, verse 16, for all that is in the world, which him right on his bike, all right, his cycle, it says the lust of the, uh, it says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the uh, flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, which he had a pride. He's talking, you got to trouble the world, man. You got to trouble dudes, man. Hey, this ain't hey, all the rest, man. Hey, they got a thing called, you know, they say, before you can understand this Bible, this is what, this is what these old head niggas say. This is usually what niggas say in prison. All right, I heard it from the, the, the niggas in prison. Say, for you, to, for, you to, for you to understand the Bible, so you can really understand that Bible, you, you got to be a traveling man. A traveling man. You know what that means? That means they, they, they say you that they, they want you to go ahead and travel outside of the Bible. Go, 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 go travel, travel into other religions. Travel into other gods. Look, that's what's got us here in the first place. Okay? Being a traveling man. No, you're supposed to be uh, uh, firm and, 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 and still with the Lord, man. Waiting on the Lord. Okay? Not traveling uh, to, to uh, other damn philosophies and shit. That's how you get bugged out. Well, I check out here with all these fucking tattoos on their damn face and all these tattoos on their body and all these work, false gods they worshiping and stuff because what they, they, they want to travel. It ain't about traveling, it's about seeking the Lord in truth and sincerity, man. That's right, that's right. Go ahead. It's in uh, I'm gonna start from John chapter 2, verse 16. For all, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, man. And you clearly see it, man. He's enjoying his, man, he's enjoying this world, man. All right? Jake is enjoying this world, riding his bike. You see that? Go ahead, put that on there right there. You see that? Jake was out here riding his bike, man. All right? That's them enjoying this world, man. And the love of the Father's not dealing with that, man. All right? The Spirit wasn't on him to come out here and be on this side. You understand? He was on the other side. And that's how, he, that, that, that's how you know Jake don't got it, man. Hey, he don't different. The needle ass kids riding his bike, man. This <laughs> <laughs> all this, 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 all Check out. This is uh, Psalm chapter one, chapter one, and verse one. It says, "Blessed is the man that." Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up, brother? How you doing? What do you call who? Good question. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the Lord. Yahweh Shai. Right here. Right here. This, this is the ancient Hebrew. All right. Yeah, I know. I'm just like you know. There's a difference though. There was no you in ancient Hebrew. So I couldn't have been his name. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So it's, 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 a, it's a grammar problem. They, they, they close, but it's not, a, it's not the full name. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Man, she is. What, what does the name Yahushua mean? Oh, I know. Yeah, you don't know, right? Yeah, I haven't been into that long. Yeah, well, the name Yahweh Shai means he the deliverer. This is the, this is the deliverer. His father's name is Yahweh, which means he is, he exists. So when you, want, when you guys go into the actual Hebrew, you're going to find that out. 
The real Jews. Who, who are the real Jews? That's right. So we had to teach it. And Brother Nose and Brother Nose was here. All right, all three. Hey, brother. What tribe are you from? What tribe, what tribe are, are you from? What tribe are you from? Come over here then. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Real quick, real quick. On this side right here, where do you see your father? Your nationality according to the city of your father? Uh, Simeon. 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 That's what tribe you come from. Uh, yeah. You're an Israelite too, man. Yeah. You're supposed to be able to push this word too, bro. You got to get to the court, get to the KJV, start reading and come out here and, and, and come see us. All, all praise. praise, all praise. Hey, read Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. Gotcha. All right, bro, have a good night. All praise, all praise. Yeah, you know who we were doing? Oh, no shit. <laughs> who was reading? Salah. Oh, Go ahead, finish. Bring it back. Bring it back. This is Psalms chapter, chapter. This is Psalms chapter one and verse one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel, counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. The scornful. All right, man. So bless is that man who don't walk in the, uh, the council of the ungodly, man. That's not in this wicked shit, man. And then the dude, you know, he passed by and he's talking about success, success, success. But success, according to this word, is uh, to this world, Slakia, is being conformed to this world, man. Yep, yep. All right, it's being conformed to this world. So you're doing all this wicked shit, man. All right, yep. in this world. All right, and the scripture says, blessed is the man that that, that, that walk not from, in that way, man. Yep. Hey, As a hey, sinner. If you want to travel in this world, you got to be conformed to this world. All right, huh? right. You want to travel in this world, they told you best. We get it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're getting jabbed up with who knows them, what the fuck what. You, 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 I got swine feet, uh, baby fetal cells in that damn, them damn jabs, man. You had, you had them brothers, uh, them guys at IUIC having... Long uh, uh, swabs at their nose, man. This shit. Yep, yep. Let them put, put damn uh, 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 nanoparticles. nanoparticles up their nose and shit. So I gotta go do all that to be successful. I don't want that success, there, my man. I don't want all that. And it's to be successful on this side of, the, of this world, to be successful in in, in, in in the Satan's world, you gotta do some demonic shit. You gotta be wicked. Uh, okay, you gotta be wicked, man. Okay, you you, you, you gotta rub uh, shoulders with them moles and shit. <laughs> we ain't doing none of that, man. Nah, hell no. Nah. That that's not my my example of success, man. All right. Go ahead. Uh, what, what you got? Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass is master's crew. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that word you just said? Ass. What? Ass. Brother, you can't even be saying cuss words out here, brother. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's Jake, man. Ass, ass and, and I, I, he, he, I, I don't care if he always said ass, ass, okay, ass, okay. ass. He'll be like, oh, oh, no, bro, you can't say a cuss word. So he don't want us to read that scripture there. Show you how, how to destroy, uh, how to destroy um, 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 damn Jake is, man. Little doesn't know ashes means donkey, bro. Like, people just being illiterate. Yeah, it's yeah. Stupid. But bring it back. All right, it says, the ox, the ox knows his owner, and the ass is master's crib. So these are two stubborn animals. Two very rebellious and stubborn animals. If, if, if you got, if you ever deal with an ox or a donkey, you know what I'm saying? They want to do what they want to do. But hey, if you, if, you, if, you, if you let them wander off, they know how to get back home. Okay? They, they know where their home is. They know who their master is. Jake don't know. All right? Go ahead. It says, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. They don't even consider, man. Instead of, instead of, instead of trying to be a fucking a, 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 a damn travel agent, he should be kind of trying to consider who the true Lord is, man. That's right. He be trying to consider trying to get this word into the sincerity, man. But they don't consider that. They don't want to hear that, man. They don't want to hear that. That's a problem. I said on that. You know precepts? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 7. So if thy people was accepted, both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies. For with thou didst punish our adversaries, by the same thou didst glorify us whom they have called. Yep. So hey, the Lord's gonna glorify us and destroy the wicked, man. That's right. And that's just that's the moral of the story, man. And if you celebrate in this day and wicked holiday tomorrow, you fall under the category of the wicked, man. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Hey, you, you are joined hand in hand with the devil. Yep. Precepts down here? Nah, no precepts? Yeah, I got another one. Go ahead. This is this is Psalm 34, verse 12. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The okay, so we're not going to be out here speaking false doctrines and telling people to go celebrate Easter. That's what it's talking about, speaking guile, man. 
All right, it's not or, it's not talking about harsh language, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or, or telling Jake what they want to hear, man. Yeah, right. Or smooth words. Smooth words. Yeah, right. that, 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 that's that guy, man. Jake want to hear. Jake want they, they want to hear what sounds good to them. Yeah. They don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear what sounds good. What make them feel good inside. That's why they go to Christian church and they give the pastor all their fucking money. But they want to hear what sounds good, what feels good, make them feel good inside. To go home and eat a damn Sunday dinner with a bunch of pork on the table. Yep. Uh, the scripture says uh, they, they, they teach us lies to feed their own bellies, man. Right. And uh, tell you fair speeches. Yep, fair speeches. Yep, to see the hearts of the simple. Yep. Go ahead, brother. Uh, verse, verse 15. The eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous. Are upon who? The righteous. Nah, the people who are gonna celebrate Easter tomorrow. The righteous. <laughs> the righteous. Hey, the righteous. Come on, come on, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous. The righteous, man. Go ahead. And his ears are open unto their cry. Unto their cry, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, open unto their and that's what we do, man. We cry unto the Lord, man. Go ahead. The face of Yahweh is against them that do evil yep. to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Yep, and that's what's going to happen, man. Esau going to be cut out, man. And all you jakes that follow after the ways of Esau, y'all going to be cut out too, man. All right, go ahead. The, the yep. righteous cry, and, Yah and, and Yahweh heareth and deliver them out of all their troubles. Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such of Set, such as be of a contrary spirit. Yep, a contrary spirit, man. Go ahead. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, yep. but Yahweh delivered him of, out of them all. Yep, so the Lord is going to deliver us out of all the, all the tribulation, man. Go ahead. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Yep. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. <laughs> Yahweh redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. That's right, right. man. So if you trust the Lord, man, the Lord's gonna fight for you, man. All right, any more precepts? Precepts, 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 precepts. That's it, go ahead. All right, we, with that, we're gonna close it out. We're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles. A great millstone, till next time, Shalom. Shalom.